good computer that you got like, what terms do I... of, like world like starvation so... <laughs> cancer saving research. yeah like what, what what does this like this like lit up monster of a computer do not do so it, what she's asking for those of you who don't know there's this disembodied voice speaking right now uh asking me what i do with all the equipment i've amassed um if i help people with it if i um if i better anybody's life in any way shape or form with this thousands of dollars worth of useless shit i've just been compiled uh the answer is nothing i have not been nothing, nothing. nothing so, whatsoever i use it well, yeah, I use it to um, to get in the way when I get up and yeah. you're ready in the morning. You got twenty five hundred dollar PC in your room. Yeah. Address uh, for anybody. <laughs> yes, <computer>. please. <laughs> That's my whole, yeah, my address. <laughs> Stafford <laughs> County. <laughs> Good <laughs> fucking luck. Thanks you. Your panels on the side. It's got. It, you can see the fan whirring. <laughs> As it as 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 we record right now. All right, right now, look, but I need to. Let's just stop. The, please, please, <laughs> let, let me at least introduce you first before you take the piss out of. <laughs> Here we are. It's episode what, thirty-two, right? I didn't make a title yet or anything, but I mean, shit. <laughs> we're we're trying new things here. I, you heard the new intro song. I promised and delivered on that. It's a banger. It's a banger. Uh, yep. We. It really. Yep. It took a it took a banging three hours to bang out. And <laughs> Ooh, that was taking me like. A year. At uh, least. That's a year for me, like to, to like labor over something like that, and it's only twenty seconds long too. So it's like Jesus. It's like, it's like a, anyway, we did that, and we're, we're we're here providing for you again for your viewing slash listening pleasure. Another comedian guest, an excellent, phenomenal comic by the name of M Fisk. Give it up for her. ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, that's where the fake applause comes in. <laughs> Um, I just, you asked how much effort or, or, you know, <laughs> you asked what goes into this, if anything at all, absolutely nothing. I ha I have no sound effects. I have not even like fake affirmations go into this. So it's all just, yeah, real palpable disappointment in the room <laughs> at any given moment. So, but, well, so what's, what's going on? We met at an open mic. Yeah, Adam's bomb. I think like a month. Ago. Yeah, or so. Where was it first? It, it was, was uh, trustees. Trustees. Yeah, trustees. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken mic joint. Yeah. That's every other Wednesday at trustees. Yes. And then. Uh, I left before you did your step, and then I saw you again later at Adam's. So I was like, all right, this guy's doing the work. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I think I think what may have happened is, yeah, or you know, uh, Seneca, does he yeah, yeah. ring a bell? I think he told us about it. And then we went straight from there to there, and then yeah, we linked up again because we yeah, recognized yeah. each other. Uh, I'm glad, glad, it, glad it worked out. Then. Yeah, uh, me too. My life is better for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My, mine too. I mean, like up until now, I. I mean, well, listen, I'm full of disappointment. You just ask any of my exes. Oh my god. We're, just, we're, just, we're only new in our relationship. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so. Realistic like expectations. <laughs> I mean. Shit. <laughs> I mean, we we both had experiences with with women, I'll say, and you're by far on the on the up and up. I mean, you're really it's it's way down here. It's like yeah, right now it's in the basement somewhere. We're so proud of her. Oh my gosh, this is great. I'm already fucking up. She's like, put that shit, drop, take it, just let it go, and like. Just let it, just let it hit. <laughs> Wait till you hear that bitch hit the ground. <laughs> That's a, a, mic, a mic dropping on. Oh, shit. Yeah. If, it, if it bounces, you could catch it, but like, 
Anyway, I don't think I don't think it's gonna bounce. <laughs> oh my gosh! I tied it to cement. <laughs> So up at the top here, uh, I want to say you run your own open mic out of um, Fat Pete's Barbecue, yes, yeah, in so Cleveland I've Park. Cheers! Um, I've been doing Cheers for. So I actually started Cheers before the pandemic. Really? Um, yeah. So I used to do it at a place called Focal, mm. and I met up with them before they'd opened. So they're like, "Yeah, we'd love to do a comedy night." Um, and we did it. We did it for about a year, and then the pandemic hit, and uh, we couldn't do it anymore because nobody's going out for comedy nights. Mm -hmm. And um, but during that time, they got really engaged in the community, and so after the pandemic, they were actually highly in demand for their space. Mm -hmm. So when they tried to come back and uh, do the show, um, the thing, the rule was always like, you know, we'll give you the space if we're not booked for an event. But they kept bumping me because they were booked uh, for events to really? find a new space. Uh, but like good for them like you know that's the business goal is to like be yeah honest, i think um, but still i mean you it, you yeah, hate to get shelved I like that it's okay because I, I think i needed the break so like this year i i um brought it back at fat pete's barbecue in cleveland park um so i do i'm doing the mic uh on the second and last monday of every month um and then um putting together a showcase uh for the 28th friday the 28th Okay. 29th, maybe yeah, Friday twenty ninth of it's April. One of those. It's a number. Um, one of the numbers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the last Friday of April. Okay. Um, and we're gonna do like uh, I've got a bunch of great comics. All gonna be doing at least fifteen minutes of their style. Oh wow. So uh, it's a free show. Um, uh, but you can also buy a drink ticket and get discounts on select drinks all night, mm. so that I don't go broke promoting it. Mm. For real. Well, I, I mean, I will yeah. fucking be consider me there. I want yeah. to pop up because I'll be having Friday talks. So yeah, okay. no, we, honestly, like the guy who's headlining, y'all know Yannick? Yes, we met him. Yeah, yeah. I met him last Yon, time. Yeah, Yannick's headlining, and he is like just one of my favorite comics mm. in DC. He's you would love this so guy. So funny. His impressions <laughs> are just so. Oh my God. I didn't get to see him do impressions because, and that's what I was talking to him about um, last night, was uh, the first time I saw him was at the DC Improv. Yeah. It was an open mic, and um, he got heckled the entire <laughs> time. About this. The entire time. That was like the first or second open mic I'd ever seen, too. So I was like, "Oh shit, is this what yeah, this happened?" Is what this is what happens. Yeah. Uh, especially to men. Um, yeah, men will get heckled. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, no it, it was really bizarre. I haven't seen that. I haven't heard of that happening. No, it was. Before. It was the wildest thing because what happens is he's up there with his little drink. Or whatever he's got a beer or something and he's sipping on it he's real cool laid back i don't know if he smoked before or what but he was very like calm and collected and he had this slow kind of rhythm building up to his yeah. first joke and before he could get to the punchline, he's talking something about it, uh, being on the metro this guy out of nowhere just starts yelling for, for me i'm across the room on the other side so it's incoherent to me but i guess what he heard is like you're not funny or something or like it, it didn't happen really like oh. yeah like by, by heckling oh. standards oh my god this guy is setting the bar <laughs> for everybody like oh my god that didn't happen uh -huh. for comics none of it happened well so that he's yannick is so calm and collected that immediately he goes well, I'm glad you said something. He like immediately attacks it. Yeah. Everyone busts out. It's like the biggest laugh that anyone's had all night, just yeah. based off the initial response to this craziness, right? But the guy keeps going. He keeps trying because he's a part of the show now, right? He <laughs> figures he's he belongs now. This is what he came out to do was just participate the entire time, right? <laughs> and he it hurts my heart. And it hurt everybody because he just would not shut the fuck up and everyone's looking around like is somebody going to take this guy out is somebody going to do something and the problem with that too is like at the improv you get five minutes and it's a tight yes like he, yannick's just there trying to do his but he was saying like to me last time i saw him like i'm just there trying to do my best five minutes yeah and, because like it it's such a process too to get on at the dc mm -hmm. improv because they get so many submissions i can only imagine right. oh my god and so it was it's, it's like and they need to like that's his moment. I, yeah, and I hate to see that happen, especially someone as talented as Yannick. Mm -hmm. That's his moment up there. He was really like, he was ready to go. Like I said, I did. I didn't see another person as chill, as like confident in themselves as he was when he got up on stage. Yeah. He just had like a certain swagger, like he, like he had his shit 
tighten together and then mm-hmm. immediately just like a minute in it's like here's the sky he probably so. has like personal haters like somebody who's probably like hey he finna well be so here. then i asked him right i asked him last night did you know him like, because got, everyone <laughs> i swear to god everyone i talked to after that show thought y'all knew each other or it was somehow like like that's my dad <laughs> <laughs> that's him dad, yeah. down, this is the only time you supported me my whole life <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to tell everyone that this never happened, that it's a fake story. Could have been a doctor, son. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was wild. I haven't seen anything that bad since since the Adams bomb we were at. I don't know if you were there oh, with that. Oh, I was thinking about that. Shit. I was about to say that. Shit. I was about to say that. Shit. Yeah. Yes, I was about to say. That I, I think I went downstairs because she was making me so uncomfortable. So, 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 oh my god! So Adam's mom is is if you've never been, it's at a bar called Dirty Water, um, which is named after the cholera you will get from like drinking their water. Oh, I love that. Like, it's like the wow. diviest of the dive bars. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll go up, like you have to go up like three flights of stairs, and every lay, every like story you go up you're like do i need to well we shot? ended up we ended up at the hookah bar in between the yeah. hookah yeah, yeah, it's, it's like it's hookah yeah. bar slash like, hookah bar uh, i said hookah like uh, hooker hooker bar like, no yeah. it's just so yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. stupid that's what was lit though yeah we we thought it was there so we yeah. were just there listening to karaoke i'm gonna go there and run my set before i go up to <laughs> it's like, a nice you place said a, you said it's an open mic you did not specify i have to say yeah yeah but like, so we get, so you go all the way to the top and this mm-hmm. woman comes up and she's just hammered. Yes. Right? Or, yes. or something worse. She was sledgehammered. I mean, depending on your outlook. Yeah. Sledgehammered. Yeah, she just starts talking through everybody's sets, like going for audience participation points that nobody's giving out. And she was like, yeah. I mean, I looked, I told and then she would sit back down and, yeah, said, and we're like yeah uh-huh. here and there in terms of like her <laughs> <laughs> well, Rocco, you know we're not looking for the so, yeah, man. but she no. seems like something like she's in like, a positive like place so we'll take it there was over somebody being mad at me yeah. I just saw Devine Kerr, you know Devine. Yeah, I know Devine wrong. They did a uh, an Adams Bomb showcase at a different place at um, um, Astro Beer Hall. Yeah, yeah. And it was like a, the theme was work sucks. Yeah, I'm doing that show next month, I think. Oh, that's so. I just saw it with. I went on a date, and uh, the two of us. Uh, the first half went swimmingly, and then the, the whole time there's this group of. Of ladies uh, that were visit that were visiting from New York or something from Southeast, right? So they're from Southeast DC, but they were visiting from home there. from New York, okay. right? And they decided to see a comedy show. These this was like the best group, like like okay, this, this was good. It was the best audience for awesome. for a room that I've seen yet. They were like hooting, yeah. hollering, laughing. It's a good show, the the, mm-hmm. the work sucks show. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward. I was supposed to do it last month, but I had something booked in Richmond. So oh, I, was I see. Like, Ooh, lingo, visit my family. Yeah. And get the brownie points for doing that show. Yeah, I. I mean, um, <laughs> my family. And so Only much. that. I that was. <laughs> that, that was the objective. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no ideas. We're not volunteering you know phone me. calls. <laughs> That's my dad so calls texting emails. <laughs> oh, He's a good person. Have you read my email so yet, honey? My day, I'll never convert fucking texting back in my day. It was all back, back yeah. in my day, we wrote it on pen, and that was your PDF. Now, Em, you haven't responded to my phone email. To my... And I'm like going through my Gmail like, Dad, you didn't send <laughs> But Ooh. I saw your text. And I'm not writing yeah. back because I'm lazy about texting. Yeah. You can't take a number like everything else who sends me a text. You should text Holy him. Shit. You should text him back. Email me instead. Yeah. And, and then, no. <laughs> that'll fuck him up. <laughs> well, he'd be like, "That's what I did." Number, I'm left now. What the number is not you? We are there are seven text messages ahead of you. Please enjoy this music while he waits. Oh, oh shit! Send him a YouTube link. <laughs> yeah. My dad, oh my god, my dad loves to listen to music on YouTube. Really? <laughs> That's worse than Pandora somehow. That's. <laughs> it's like way more ads. That is, that is it's the most sad thing. Like, in- Am I just love the Subaru commercials that come on every two seconds? <laughs> And stuff like that. So oh, okay. Like, to be fair, like my mom's one who has like opinions about every ad that comes on TV, but we don't really get on that path. Mm, yeah. How do how does your family feel about the M and M's? 
ads. We had a whole crisis during that. You know, we have some brooch in our family. Mm -hmm. if we're ready. You know the you know the topic though. You know, like what I'm getting oh, into. Oh, this M and M's being too sexy. Not being sexy enough. We can't find us. Not being sexy anymore. Actually, this whole bit about like God forbid the uh, female M and M changed to sneakers, like her little candied spine, all these years in heels. <laughs> Must needs the relief. <laughs> you know, it's a sensible shoe wear. God forbid she puts on her black. Yeah, like, I, I, honestly, like, who's fetishizing M and M's? Like, I tell you, care about like she took her boots off and there was nothing sexy underneath. Uh, Dick Tucker Carlson had a yeah, lot yeah, to yeah, say yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, he really yeah. did. I mean, he, he was up in arms. Uh, Tucker Carlson too is like he's an insane person, but like he's incredibly smart mm. too, and he uses his his knowledge for evil. Mm. That's the thing that like, bad people can be hyper intelligent. We don't want to think that. Yeah. But that that the problem is there are bad people using their 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 knowledge for evil. I mean, he knows what he's doing, just like Laurie Ingram or any of those, mm -hmm. but Sean Hannity, they know what what gets ratings and they they have teams of people obviously it's a whole production designed around aggravating people in the most nonsensical you know yeah. almost farcical ways so that m&m's controversy i say with air quotes if you want to even call it that yeah i think i read an article recently or saw somewhere on the news um that there are these like internal messages going around fox news to them about like between some of the correspondents being like can't wait for Trump to be done. Well, so so what happened? You know, you know what started that? Um, probably Trump being dumb. Well, so what <laughs> what happened? Well, obviously that's what started. That's what started the email change or, or the text change, whatever oh, your dad God, thinks yeah, was yeah, going totally. on. Uh, yeah. It's called <laughs> mail. Courier mail. Uh, pigeon. Uh, <laughs> signature. Courier pigeon uh, exchanges by the. Uh, tell <laughs> <laughs> telegram I, I love that that's what they call it is telegram they, they really are catering to the is there an actual telegram? yeah it's it's yeah, for it's old a, conservative people it's yeah, it's yeah. Wait, what? It's, it's pretty <laughs> it's a discreet app wait, is it like for sexting like, you can like, use it for that if wait, you want wait wait wait, wait, wait. what okay, do you mean sorry? discreet like, what, wait, what does wait, discreet mean like discreet yeah. yeah if it's what a if it if i'm thinking correctly it's like uh encrypted it's like for like stuff you don't want oh, people to yeah. see like the government i didn't know if that 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 was the draw about telegram i, I just knew that it is, it's what yeah. ca it's kind of like the it's truth like, social uh, rival it's like, it's like like signal. yeah yeah what's that for signal well so it's like yeah. it, telegram is like twitter right but you have to be invited into it i think I something think like that for certain groups for sure uh -huh. yeah, well, it's yeah, like yeah. OG Facebook. so somebody has to send you it's almost like wechat somebody has to send you an invite yeah. from china that's a, the chi the the premier Chinese social media. Oh, so I'm showing my age because I also made the OG Facebook reference. <laughs> I, I, was, I was in high school back when you had to get. I got that invite to join. Facebook. Really? I was like, I have made it. I didn't know you did an invite. So I didn't know that was. Used, a... Yeah, it used to be that way. And it used to be only for like people who went to school. Mm. Oh. Who were in school like. Oh yeah, because it was. I remember when they opened it up to the public, be like, I don't know about this. I don't want my parents to see me. Yeah, because oh, it was a dating yeah. thing, right? It was like they. Yeah. It was to rate girls at first. Was. Uh, it? That I didn't know. If so. you look at, uh, I'm I swear I'm not a misogynist. You please, I, it, it was to. <laughs> those vibes. Well, so he, no, yeah, it yeah. was him and it looks like he rates women when he sees them, but like has no chance with them. No, other he than stands up when he computer. <laughs> I. <laughs> He goes, like, he goes Terminator mode. Yeah. Mean. <laughs> like RoboCop with the. You know. oh, shit. Yeah. At least you ain't say MySpace. If you said OG MySpace, MySpace, I'd have died. I was on MySpace. Really? I guess. What was oh, that uh, like? I thought you were going to say like recently. Tom. Tom? Yeah, that's the MySpace guy. That's the, everyone's oh, friends with Tom. I'm showing my age. You're only, what, two years older than I am. I don't know who Tom is. I know Jared from Subway. Does, Stop. Oh, my could God. Could that get me anywhere? Everybody knows Jared <laughs> if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared Fogel. I know it, both his names for some reason. I don't know Tom. No. Come on, kill more. Yeah, uh, I love that I know his name. Oh my God! See, and he see that's why I be telling people fuck Subway. I be so saying this shit now. Everybody who was on face on MySpace. On MySpace. Off. Don't tell me you got Tom. MySpace app still. No, she I got the fucking opened app, it. Bro. I googled it. <laughs> she got the app. I'm not that's right. You open her Here, phone. That's show right show the uh, camera yeah, there. Like, okay, so everybody who signed up for MySpace originally like. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's good. They can see hair and, and that he's 
really pale. He's a pale white dude. Okay. Yeah, so everybody started off with like. I'll find him. You either know Tom or you don't know Tom. I'm the I'm like the engineer. Hey, there we go. Everybody oh, who awesome. started off on MySpace started off with Tom as yep. a friend. He had this picture. Yep. He started yep. off with Tom. He's the dude. You sign up That's for the first MySpace, dude. And Tom was your first friend. Mm -hmm. And he was the creator of MySpace. Mm -hmm. And he sold it. And he made a bunch of money. But yeah. if he continued to update the platform, I feel like we would still be using it. No, for sure. There we go. Yeah. It, was, it was it was Facebook before it was Facebook. You know, like, okay. That's how I learned how to code in HTML. Was like decorating my MySpace page. Oh really? Oh, yeah, you like you know, go on the website and you find your like wallpapers and shit like that. That's how you showed you were an individual. That's not Tom. That's not him. It looks. It's supposed I, to be I, him. That's it. That's that, imposter Tom. That. That's I, like I, the I, act. I, that that's the the Lifetime movie Tom right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is no, that him? Be That's Tom trying movie. to be like, it'd be like a It'd be like a... I think this is him. I think... No, I refuse. I refuse any time he's not in front of like a... a in front of the... Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him with Jessica Alba, I guess. She must have been friends with him on MySpace. <laughs> That's how they met. That's how they met. Yeah. Be my first friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, my no, God. That, that, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, you like put a song on your, your MySpace page. You like decorate for Christmas and shit. I'm really glad that I missed that. Because, because can I? No offense. No, no offense. It's just it's a. I just. Yo. I mean, I've never think about my system. I've never like. You know, yeah. Really great. No, it's the oh my god, seeing Facebook wall or my space. <laughs> yeah, and Leaving it's comments from my like co like here this high school and be it... like, I saw you like that band. <laughs> Well, it was like a, a glorified blog, right? Like you had your own page with the wallpaper and and your little t facts yeah. about you and stuff, uh, yeah. and then people would message you, right? And... Yeah. Mm -hmm. There wasn't. It was more. It was emotional. You put yourself yeah. into. Oh. Well, so yeah, I'm glad I missed it. exactly. I'm glad I. I... <laughs> I, like, I want Facebook. I want standardized. I want everybody's page. No. To look the same except I... for the pictures that you post. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not knocking the platform. I'm glad I missed the emotional turmoil that I'm sure came with losing it and all the bullshit that it was about. I deleted my MySpace. Really. It was like sold off. I think. Like for me, I, I, you know. I got really into um, uh, like Vine for a moment, you know, when you think, okay, this is going somewhere. This is going to turn into, it's the same way people are freaking out about TikTok right now. Like all this TikTok is my home bullshit you see on uh, your dad. I'm sure has seen plenty of YouTube ads listening to his favorite artists about how TikTok is fine. They're not spying on us because <laughs> they're trying to fight for their lives. R. Kelly style right now. But, I mean, but do you have TikTok on your phone? I do. Okay. You're not supposed to, but I do. I. You're not supposed to. Well, like, so, like, you so, do it for the government. Well, I don't, but no. like, I would like, I would like a government job. Holla at me. Um, <laughs> you know, you say that now. Most of the people I know who work at the government are like, yeah, my life is terrible. You can't, you no. can't do my drugs dad. if you uh work for the government. Just so you you know. can't do drugs during the drug test period. Yo, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> smart lady smart lady listen listen with age comes a lot of mistakes but some some little pearls like stay with you. yeah well, that's a gem for sure yeah, well, you know, if you know, if like, you know I, when they piss you you i think you can get away with it i think you can he works for the government um and like the bet this background checks me all paper Sorry, oh really? no, yeah, they're he thorough. Got another job while he waited for his background. Damn, to they be checking. They be checking. Year. They not playing. So they're they don't play. They don't play. They're looking. They're like they're <laughs> looking. I'm glad to know that everything else in in, in no, the government. I was gonna say I'm glad my government's not playing about at least one thing. You know, I mean. It, it, well, what if they put their energy into like social justice? <laughs> oh my God. You can't have this job right now, bitch, because you smoked. Weed we, two months ago. What we're gonna beat up this like Puerto Rican man and yeah. to be, like, yes. office while we're doing it. Like it doesn't yes. make sense because he's almost uh, ethnically so that he's not supposed to be here. We, we don't like really we, like, we don't, don't recognize that as a territory here. We all know him. He works no. for the janitor here actually. Yeah. 
He passed the security. Pedro, pass. that's <laughs> almost too Mexican for us. Oh, fucking day. To let slide. Well, a little too close for comfort. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. Just... I love. Yeah, we sure. we had a. So we just had a rant go up today. Uh, today we're recording on Tuesday of oh, yeah. of this week. Uh, this will go out on Thursday, so okay. two days from now. But uh, we put up um, a podcast that we recorded a couple weeks back, and I had to split it in in two mm-hmm. parts because for the first like thirty minutes, I was just ranting about gun violence because it was a couple no, days. It was a couple days after the it's, Nashville. No, it's time, and it's also very timely with the the news lately. Um, How insane is that, right? Your kid's mom sent him to pick up his younger brothers. Yeah, yeah. Even if you don't want someone coming to your house, shooting them in the there should be no weapons involved with telling them to leave. Yeah. yeah. And a sixteen-year-old boy, like I see pictures of this boy, he is he is particularly two day looking i mean i'm sure mm-hmm. but very manly don't get me wrong uh so you want to say that about a 16 year old but they're not yeah uh, please don't disparage him after oh <laughs> but like, <laughs> like, so like that's so crazy he looks like he's such a pleasant young man yes and you're 89 you're intimidated by that no you're just a racist piece of shit yep, yep, like, yep, yep, yep. you know what i had not done i ain't shot nobody no. in a couple no, and suddenly the doorbell rings my Look, God, my that's it, that's it, yeah. Here's my, here's my car. I get to use these. Thank you. Shit. Mommy, thank Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity. <laughs> they have answered my prayers. My prayers. He was, he was in fear that he'd never get that opportunity again. You know, what can I do to get into the national spotlight? Let me see. Oh, there is a young man. Yeah. I mean, it's just, and it's... It, where was this again? What was? It was oh, I, was, I just read about this, this, this is morning. Louisiana, or what was I, the... I read an article about uh, like here, though. Um... Let me just type in shooting, uh, yeah, and yeah, it'll yeah, it'll yeah. come up. Oh, it's pop pop up. Up. No, it's so great. Is this it, right, Kansas that's City? Dude, that's yeah. dude. That's him. That's dude. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's get right into it. Yeah, that's dude. I don't even want to like look at his face, so I don't want to give him like the, yeah. even the thought. I mean, well, when we look at him, that's the devil right there. I mean, what we're looking at. I was reading, but. But the um, young man, his name is, I just, remind me the name of the young man. Who, it's Ralph. Ralph. Ralph I'm Yarl. I'm looking at the name right now. Yeah. Like, no, uh, I can't Yarl. Read. Okay. Yeah. No, but they, I was reading an article earlier. Is it Yanni or Laurel? He's in the hospital. Oh, he's recovering. Yeah, I think good. He's going to be heading home soon, but that he's, um, good, you dude. know, uh, based on what his family is saying, not doing too well with the aftermath. Like, yeah. What, but it, like, in all fairness, like, what would be a what's way to too do well? well yeah, yeah like the, you know what Our, some people will just be racist like there's no yeah. mom dad i want to forgive him i want to meet so, him so, can we could we stop by the gun store mom, first dad, though mom could, could we mom, dad, <laughs> actually uh, property yeah and and like safety like sa- neighborhood safety i should think yeah. that's our neighborhood and he was in defense of his own home his homestead mother i totally mom, i was I think we need to get a gun to protect <laughs> There are youths in the community. Oh my god. I went on this huge fucking tirade and he's like my yes man backing me up. I think he were getting a little scared. I got into Who, character. Me? Yeah. I was yeah. at one point I was I was doing a one man play, like <laughs> acting out you know, like just acting out three different angles of how some how somebody who's clearly mentally ill get even gets a hold of a I mean, I- a weapon like that. Too, when they get older, too, I'm sure like they've got the weapons. That, like they got the younger, oh, they already the, have the weapons them. when they're younger, and they just yeah. hanging around the house. So like it's yeah. one of those things yeah. where, like, and I'm not excusing his behavior by any means whatsoever. But like when when we need to be doing better as a nation to track who has weapons. Yes. When people get older, you know, things like Alzheimer's stop. and oh. dementia start to take effect. Mm-hmm. Maybe don't let those people who are confused about what's going on in the world. Or, have a weapon. or maybe don't let them lose those weapons. We have serial numbers for a reason. Why not? Why aren't there routine ch- a six month to a year checks? You know, yeah. on these weapons, on, on the status of them. I know that it would be a huge undertaking for I don't know some fucking yeah. department somewhere. Right. I, do we have like a firearms division of the government that needs to be Talk tracking? Uh, have, yeah, please. Well, my dad did this article. My dad's a journalist. Um, oh well did an article like back in the 90s I mean, this, this issue goes like back 
forever mm-hmm. as soon as america was established yeah um they're like that's our whole arms, thing like, yeah not like the animal like the actual weapon <laughs> but like the way in which like serial numbers get scraped off or like they'll they'll just like transport the guns like to another state mm-hmm. or the thing that, that bothers me the most is the gun show loopholes yeah where mm-hmm. they can be sold on site like i saw a picture on uh some social media platform this week of like just a, a young kid like maybe like this tall maybe holding a gun and pointing it at the person at the camera with their finger on the trigger it's white yeah Oh my God. Look, at, look how cute he is. Oh, look how shooting. Look how adorable little Jimmy. He's already, he knows how to shoot it. He knows how to cock it back. He knows how, how to reload. Oh, I love it. I love, Let's get him on one of them AR 15s now. Let's go ahead and get him right on that. Please. ASAP. He's ready. He's ready. We were going to take, we were, honey, Kenny, we were going to take him to build a bear today. We, t- we took him to build an AR 15 instead because. You know cute though. He picked, he picked a. Uh... A yellow barrel for him. He picked his own decals. Yeah, we we went and got him engraved. We got him. Ammo on the side. Uh, we sure did. We sure did. And he got a swastika. Oh, and swa- uh, for, good for good measure. For good measure. They know it's not just for the colors. It's for the Jews too. It's for the Jews too. You better believe it. Oh, the of I mean, can I get an amen? Too like oh not God. not as 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 much as as you know other places in the community but like it makes me nervous about like going to synagogue now for like high holiday it's yeah like, yeah i can only I imagine feel nervous to go yeah. do religion sure I, that, that's also how i refer to uh going to synagogue is do religion it's fucking this religion in the ass tonight <laughs> i'm gonna get this religion right in me I'm about to do <laughs> We don't have any Holy Spirit, but we got God. Yeah, I just did some religion on Easter. My oh my, my mom dragged us to this mega church in Fredericksburg. How was that? Well, I've been watching Righteous Gemstones. I don't know if you've seen that. I, this show is so underrated. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Okay, sorry. Tell me more. Oh my God. Just, I love it. Uh, so you, you, I don't know if you met him, but the guy downstairs, my mom's boyfriend, he was reluctant. He didn't really want to go, but he he went anyways. Well, I mean, we all were, but we all went anyways. My my brother Reggie and I, and when we, we, we get there, and he pulls me aside. He goes, Chris, why the fuck did you show me that show? I totally ruined. It. <laughs> That's what this church is. We walk in and it's all all neon lights it's cameras everywhere spotlights and then it's and we go into this huge amphitheater with like yeah, it's a rock like, concert it's like, it's so <laughs> smoke perfect. machine it's so perfectly written it's so smart yes um and, and the guy who, who wrote it um his name. I'm so bad with celebrity names. I don't know who wrote it. Well, so he played the oldest brother, Danny McBride. Danny McBride. Yeah. He created and produced it. And yeah. uh, I was watching a, a story about him. Uh, he like he grew up in a church. Yeah. And doing like they do like these old puppet plays and stuff like that. And that's kind of where he got the idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also like looking at the hypocrisy of it all. Yeah. But like it's a perfect cast. It, it's a perfect show. I can't. And it's every a... season, I'm like, what are they going to do next? Mm-hmm. And you have an improv background. You were talking to me in the yeah. car, right? It's a lot of. Uh, um, like second city improvisers mm-hmm. and people who are in the show take like lily sullivan is in the second season yeah, yeah, yeah. um um who's uh Edie patterson yeah, yeah. Uh, is is uh the oh, the sister uh, she's fucking great tim baltz is great uh, uh i i fucking i love that show the second season was it got way goofy i don't know if you're on it yet but oh i've oh i rewatched the first season to watch the second season. yeah yeah, yeah. i do that shit oh shit i do well, that it'll be like a year and i'll be like yeah uh where do we leave off <laughs> no and for real i mean but eric andre joins in his great but anyway so the point was we were at yeah. we were at this righteous gemstones event and i mean <laughs> <laughs> It's true. We walk in and it's like this black lady who Whitney Houston was reborn into was up there with the with three different camera angles on two huge ass fucking mm-hmm. screens. I just couldn't get over the fact that, oh, my God, like I see like there's a, there was an infant next with a binky next to me at this fucking rock concert. You know, like yeah, you're going to give heads. you're going to give your baby just tinnitus from that. What, f- like from year one, you're not going to give him a chance. Yeah, that's what they'll also get the Holy Spirit. That that ringing that ringing priorities are not in line with the like this child has been baptized. Mommy. Name. Mommy. Why, why do I hear? <laughs> 
So, so. <laughs> Mommy, why does this ringing not stop? That's the Holy Spirit here to you. That's the Holy Spirit, honey. That's what we put in you as soon as possible. We took you to that, to that fucking <laughs> metal god concert. Do you remember the time that we waterboard you, kinda? <laughs> This is related That's to so that. you can feel him. So you can feel him in you at all times. It's we he's want still. You to know that this is not choice. We want you to remember this forever. Thou shalt not tilt your head sideways yeah, and spin you'll, around. You'll never. You'll never I fucking. I fucking dare you. That's holy water in there. We didn't just baptize you now. We fucking. Please do not get yeah. church. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a very sacrilegious podcast, by the way. So we're I hope starting you... a mega church ourselves. We are. Oh yeah. God. yeah. I it starts to here. Ask you guys about your your new plans. I Ooh. know that you've like purchased some property for it. Yeah, we keep it hot in here to get the experience, get the sweat you know, I going. You guys actually uh, planted some fans. Oh yeah. No, for and we we're gonna keep them in the back of the pews with we the Bibles. The yep. the yeah. Yeah. LMC podcast Bible. Yeah. Yeah. When you bring we started with fans, then branched out to shirts. We figured yeah. we'd get like the one. physical fans, not like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, yeah, yeah. we have no. No one's gonna see this. <laughs> <laughs> so, rest assured, we do not have fans. We have uh, things that cool you off. However, right? <laughs> on I mean, our store they, they soon to come. It, like since you're moving, that it 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 makes you hotter though. It's like kind of counter. Really? Because you know, you're like using the energy. You know what's right? also hot? Saving your goddamn soul. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. True. Like, as, yes. as, a Jew, as a Jew, I looked out. I looked on the inside from the outside <laughs> and thought to myself, that's like a lot of work. Yeah. You know, you got three deities. You got the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We got one. Uh huh. We got God. Yeah. He has not reproduced. And also, like, there's no stepmom situation to worry about. Like, I've always heard, like, is the Holy Spirit like the stepmom? <laughs> what? Why is it inside of me? Did it buy me dinner first? Mm -hmm. No, they're yeah. broke. They can't afford dinner. They gave me you, the you pay for dinner, they actually. Give me communion wafers. Give me some red <laughs> this, wine. And that's all I got. You got something out Thinking of it. in the cabinet. <laughs> Top shelf. Oh, I got some crackers. This wouldn't yeah. be the first time I got to do that on Oh my god. Here's some crackers and a drink. Get the fuck uh, out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all you wanted, right? That's like, that's, that's the deal. That's why I get the IED. Yeah. Uh, make sure I'm not bringing Eve, any Fair spirits, trade. Uh, Even exchange. Listen, the babies. Lord only comes back to the word. There are gods. We do not need another baby Jesus. <laughs> oh and also, god. I'm not a virgin. So, uh, sorry, yeah. mom. Yeah. I'm also divorced, so like, do we should be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you stay pure even during your marriage because you're that dedicated. No, it's because it. that's it. No, that's, that's that dedicated to quitting the marriage. Exactly. That you, you were talking about uh, Joe Papalardo for a second, although you said he's yeah. a nice guy. King of, King of the Mike Hopping. King of Mike Hopping. Funny. And also just nicest guy. One of the nicest guys you're ever gonna know. Well, so I saw him go up. Uh, last we were both at a mic last night. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Mara Finer's yeah, mic. Maddie and, Eddie's Maddie and Eddie's. Yes, uh, we both checked that out and got up. And he got up toward the end. He was like the second to last mm -hmm. person, something like that. And he revealed to the audience that I hope this isn't a secret to the nobody who will watch this. But <laughs> this guy said he was a virgin. Yeah, he is a he is a virgin. He's devoutly Catholic. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, he's a devout Catholic. Got Catholic. you. It's it's stuck. Mm -hmm. the 21 hey, look, all. I think it's great that he's getting something out of it. I yeah, know, yeah. I know, like, and he's not the kind of guy who's going to be like. No, he's not proselytizing. Oh, and... well, like, my mom's Catholic and my dad's Jewish. I just never okay. saw any point. The Catholic stuff didn't. Like, it didn't seep through. Yeah. But the Jewish stuff, like, it's nice. Uh huh. We sing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Get canters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I just, when I heard that, I don't know, like a part of me died. <laughs> I'm not. You know? Die. I'm a little envious. And like no, envious. Like I'm going like to. I'm going the opposite. So, this is why we do a podcast together because yeah, we. Just, like just exploded. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay, but like, okay, let's like imagine losing your virginity at your current age. I mean, like. Like I'm 33. I, it, so I mean, actually, but because I'm a woman, some people be like, "Ah, the purest of the apples." Yeah, I guess that's disgusting. But, you, yeah. Yeah, but you know, those guys are out yeah. there being like, "Oh, untouched." 
I'm looking for the Steve Carell movie where I can find it. I need to find my 40 year old virgin. Oh shit! I yeah, like, that's yeah. No. I'm glad that but was like, lost. Can you on... imagine like like trying to figure out sex for the first time like at your nah. right? like, so, like, you like you like that's, knew about sex and you knew about that's what on. died in me is like oh my god this guy has not like experienced. I mean, like that's like half my existence. It's just fucking that's, that's what having I'm sex. <laughs> oh yeah, you you asked what this equipment is going to. Wait, having sex. Cancer, but I'm getting having sex like twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. It's so tired. Yeah, this was a lot getting him here tonight. This was. <laughs> He's just got like just like. Don't you have something tonight? I don't know if it's that. <laughs> I'm just dead ass. You're going to Baltimore, I'm right? Getting, like, <laughs> every other day, different blood. I think I should put yeah. a little, just like a little thing in my arm. I just like hook yeah. me up when it, I get there. It texts me every once in a while. Somebody texted me actually. Somebody today and was like, "Hey, what's going on?" And I was like, "I'm actually busy for once, so I'm sorry." <laughs> I Ordinarily, I would dick, dick you down ASAP. Like, don't even worry about it. I, I had a situation ship like last summer that was like. It was like fine, but it was like one of those things where it's just like, at a certain point, I was like, at what point do you just tell somebody you're like, you've run out of interest? Yeah. Because the thing was like, it become clear that both of us had like run out of interest in, in like, like we're, we're still friends, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. but like. But the relationship aspect the, the, the didn't. The situation, it was, they're yeah. never like, we were attracted to each other and we were very well as friends, but I think we both jeremy each other's insane. Yeah. Uh, but we had tried to date. Yeah. Um. We both knew what it was, but like it's like the thing where it's like I checked in with it at one point. It's like, oh, I'm so busy. And like, all right, so you turned me down for sex twice in a row, so that that's the end yeah. of the yeah, offers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. talked about like, okay, so let's just be friends from now on, because like I also like need to know like this avenue is closed. Mm-hmm. I I had something similar happen recently, and this guy might see this. I don't know, but I. <laughs> right, that's how little for I care about worse. myself. Right, I mean, but this guy. I really had a strong kinship with him, you know, from the get. Like, we we really hit it off. We were both into comedy kind of at the same time now. And I had this, like, whole thing. I was like, oh, I'll take you to all these mics. You can get, we can work on shit together. And it to boot, he's hot as fuck, too. So I'm like, well, I mean, never hurts. <laughs> Not in the slightest. I mean, so I was like, well, I struck, I can just delete all the apps now and I'm Ooh, set, right? You that, know? That's the risky move. But, but isn't it? Isn't it? Because then what? After like the second time getting together, I mean, it's like radio silent, you know, yeah. falls off the face of the earth. And it's like, well, then what am I left to do? Do I wait for this person that I barely know? Dude, or this is, this is why, why I don't hook up with mm-hmm. comics either. It's like, is the thing is like, I don't date comics, I don't hook up with comics, because, like, it's, like, even after whatever fizzles out, I'm going to see you at mics, I'm going to see yeah. you at shows, and I, like, I, I don't had... want people to book me, I don't want there to be awkwardness yeah. around the idea of them booking me. Now, that's not to say, like, I didn't, like, hook up with, like, a comic when I first started doing comedy, <laughs> uh, but lesson learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, like, yeah, like we're, we're fine. Like, he and I, like, we're, we're, we get along perfectly fine, but, like, it was, yeah. like, my first, like, six months of doing comedy, so mm-hmm. I was, like... And that was lucky. I'm gonna yeah, get... and that was, I was fresh off of my divorce, yeah. too, and I was, oh my like, gosh. oh, my God, I just got this IUD, and I need to test it out! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll get real for a second. Yeah. So, I, the first, uh, I told you I started out of Woodbridge, right? Yeah. The, like, the second time I went to Woodbridge... So I like, I put it out there that I had just done my first open mic. I put it on like fucking Instagram or whatever, right? Before, before I even like this was even a, an idea, I had gotten back with someone that I had been with like seven or eight years ago. It was when I was in high school still, and not seven or eight years. It, it, I mean, it was a long time ago, right? It's before I I graduated high school, and. I don't know how we reconnected or what, but at some point he sends me this email and <laughs> it wasn't a text. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. No, I did too. I was like, oh shit. This should have been the first this should have been the first red flag, right? He doesn't send me a text. He sends me a text. Why did you give me your email address? <laughs> I mean oh, like, I- it's one thing to get somebody's government name. It's another thing to send them your email. It's just like a whole new level of vulnerability that I don't want. 
Like, what are, I, so, what are okay, well, are, are, so, so what? Sign somebody up for shit, like when you. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, my, ex, oh, my, ex, oh. my ex gave uh, my phone number to a bunch of car auto insurance people. <laughs> That's evil, right? but that's the type of shit I would do. <laughs> like, no, like you don't understand. Like, that's like some sort of Greek name. Like, like I can't remember what it was. Papadopoulos, something. It, it was yeah. not something like that. And for like a month straight, I was getting phone calls yeah. about car insurance quotes. Oh my gosh! From like multiple sources, mm -hmm. and, and they still get estimate texts every now and then. Oh, oh. Like, that's the type of shit. Like, if you if you do me dirty. If you do me dirty, I'm getting so you your shouldn't ass. shouldn't give people your email address. Yeah. 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 Like, well, so here's email? so here's what happened. It, it, we we reconnected. I think we found each other on on Grinder or something again, and then and then we did text. And he asked me for my email. This is what happens. And so I, knowing this person, having this person on uh, social media for all this time, I was like, okay, I know I've known you for several years now, or known of you. Yeah. We've been intimate. Sure. He sends me. Uh, he wanted to run by a thing he was working on for school. He was like, this is his, his wrap up for his like senior year at his college. He wanted like to me to proofread it. So I was like, yeah, of course. And then in a separate attachment is this like essay and like, it's like three page essay on everything he's been thinking about, uh, in regards between us all this time. And I had just got I had just gotten out of a, a four year plus relationship mm -hmm. that devastated me, mm -hmm. and to get this like profession of his like admiration and shit, uh, I pulled in to the same driveway. You you got your, I love your face right now. It's Stuart. Yes. Well, so so I pulled into the driveway, and and decided to read it before I went into the house, oh, and boy. I did the reasonable thing, which was I I. It touched me, and I started crying, and I was like, "Oh my God, this is wonderful! This is somebody wow! Cares. Somebody cares!" Because I'm coming off of, from a place of like I'm like destroyed right now. Yeah, I was like, "He he," positive affirmation. positive affirmation, and to get like three pages of it, that's right? Also, like that's like triple bonus, like rebound, like oh yeah, like, yeah. that's like winning oh, yeah. the ro road. Oh, oh for real. Of, <laughs> Um, like rebound, like, but yeah. did he know you were on the rebound too? Like, did he know you were in this vulnerable? Yes, thing? yes. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. this was yeah. it was a lot, and that I played right into his hands, like fucking like putty, you know. That shit saved in his fucking drafts. You better fucking believe I had I had it favorite. I had bookmarked the fuck out of that shit. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, so. Then we set up a date right then and there. I was like, okay, I definitely want to have lunch. We hadn't met in person again yet. Okay. We, this was just text exchanges. How long have you been texting? This had been for, like, uh, I don't want to say a, a week since, like, rekindling That's things. That's a red flag. I, I, I don't know. So, um, so listen, listen, I'm, listen. I'm, I'm not good with red flags, personally. <laughs> I've missed a lot of them in yeah. relationships. But that, after a week, seems like a... A lot. Listen no, no, to I, me. I get it in the place he's at, though. I just get it. Okay, yeah. We didn't, we didn't all Wait, know. Well, 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 he knows. He knows how fucking broken up I was. Yeah, like, I mean, like this was like a diamond in the rough, like staring me right in the face. Yeah, of like, course, it was a red flag. Least, like, of course, it was a red flag. But okay. to me, it, with with the rose-colored glasses I had on, reading that. I have a quote from Bojack Horseman. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, like when you're wearing rose-tinted glasses, all the flags just look like flags. Yeah, they just look like fucking flags. Ooh. That's amazing. The, Will Arnett said that shit. I love that. Um, yeah. It was another character. That or was somebody. Character. It's like the most profound like thing a cartoon's ever seen. That's fucking awesome. I'm stealing that like, because that's exactly what the fuck happened. It just looked like a flag. It looked just like a, in a beautiful flag too. I mean, it was. I was like, here we go. So we set up a date. We met in Centerville, uh, at a at a restaurant. It, well, so so I I picked out a rest. It was halfway between us. He was in like Sterling or something, and I was obviously here. And so I got off of work, and we met there. And I we went to um what's the the Great American Restaurant over there? No shit. Uh, there's a you know Carlisle in Sherlington. Uh well anyways there's like a restaurant group they all have the same menu oh, so they go there. Yeah. Yeah so it's called the Great American Restaurant Group. Oh oh yep. oh, oh. And this was this was like a saloon 
that they they have i'll i'll think of the name later but it's the same menu as carlisle and all that shit and is, is the menu relevant to the outcome of, of no so i because i picked it because it's this nice fucking yeah. fancy affordable place and i wanted to impress this guy yeah, the way he impressed me like fast formal exactly fast formal we went Just there Exactly. It was at her Korean barbecue, and I didn't want to look like a pig on the first date. I had Korean barbecue, but I'm desperate. Um, after this, yeah, we'll set that up for sure. You, uh, you need absolutely. to, you need to experience okay, that. Okay, I'm kidding. Her from your story. No, that of course. So we we set that up. We meet, um, and we pull up at the same exact time. We meet outside. He has on like this weird poncho thing, which is already kind of like, okay in my head. Wait. Like he had like a for real for real poncho on, like like like, 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 like I, with, is with the he, tassels like. like is, he, um, is he a POC? No. Is he? A, he's like a skinny white guy? he's like a skinny white guy. So I was like, here we go, off to the races. I'm already, you know, when you when you were talking about Earth, <laughs> you know, like, when you were talking about those dates you have where it, it's going one way over text, and then you show up and you're like. Let me reassess everything that led up to this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about my day when you're young. Okay. I'll, I'll speed through this, but we no, eat. No, no, no. Take your time. I want to know everything. <laughs> so, well, I will say this. I'm... This is sketchy territory because this is a person who is showing up at these mics now. And then I'm seeing he was at the Adams bomb mic that we met at. He was fucking there. And I pointed him out to him, too. I was like, there's that fucking guy. I, I wasn't kidding when I told you he's fucking it. So, well, I didn't know he's a comic and I didn't know he had any interest because I didn't have any interest at that point during our date. Right. So so this was this is pre all of this. This is pre all of this. This is so maybe a, like two or three months, something before. Not even. No, because I was I've been dating Matt. He, he, he so chose, he chose. He thought I've got a first date. Let me look in my wardrobe at the, the list of accessible options that will impress and flatter the man. I've written a three page memorandum of my affection for and he he thought button down no collared polo uh uh-uh. uh band t-shirt that shows i have interest in music not even close speedy gonzalez is what he arrived at racist but in an unaware manner <laughs> It was just, I, he was just missing the sombrero. It really was like. Well, yeah, did they call her? Oh, no, he had pants. He had pants. He had pants. Oh, I. Pants. Oh, I he had a short sleeve shirt and and It would be so funny pants. if he just showed up like with like like a a, a tank top and like just yeah. shorts. Yeah. Just, all you see is the like. <laughs> you see the it's like, are we going to eat dinner? Or are we going to just yeah. head out? Uh, if I, if you guys, if you, if you read the obits, uh, the next week, you guys after the, and I am dead, rest assured, we know, <laughs> we know who killed me. Uh, so, after, so, okay, so, yeah. so what did, what, what, so what we, did you say? Like, what no, did you so, so, I mean. I mean, I guess hi. I, I, yeah, hi. I hugged him. <laughs> we hugged or whatever, and we went in. We got our reservation and um, sat down. And I'm just like, okay, out of sight, or just fucking get over it. Maybe, maybe it's fine. the poncho is just the worst part of it. Yeah, day. maybe. Oh, was, yeah. That, was, was that? not. It was. <laughs> no, certainly oh not. God. Oh, I love dating horror stories. It oh. certainly was not. Uh, it was just, he's just a weird guy to me. Maybe not to other people. He's got, Very quirky. He's he's he's, quirky he's autistic, um, which is something I didn't know even many years ago when we were together. I didn't know he was okay. like, like like lasered in on on the spectrum. You know, like a certain okay. type of. Autism, and, and right? To be fair, like autistic That's people are perfectly fine. Perfectly like, fine. Find a date, perfectly fine. But, but it doesn't necessarily fine. mean. But you know, if you know that you got maybe you missed some social cues, maybe yeah, in with your friend on your first date outfit. Well, yeah, and then and then um, so that that aside, I'm like, oh well, I can definitely see that. I can see. Uh, the, in the in the ticks and mannerisms sure. or whatever, it, I I that clicks for me. It, it, there's no no problem with that whatsoever. But he gets to talking about how he does mushrooms now and all kinds of other psychedelic, you know, drugs. And I'm like, maybe that's not a great combo, um, for sure. Like I I love your enthusiasm about it, but not my thing. Not my thing. And um, and I don't know. He started going off on these really um. 
like just psychedelic tangents that we're very yeah very particular topics it very i don't know it's laser yeah, laser focused on very particular things. express some unique viewpoints to you it, yes and, and he was just revealing things about himself that i'll tell you off mic right that i had not comfortable disclosing yeah, no, it, it's, it's interesting the way too like those first date jitters brings up like yeah it's like okay bear your soul sure but maybe don't tell me about like your criminal history <laughs> so that's all i'll say right so uh, right and at the end of the date i have a determination to make right do we do we part ways or do i part the brown sea known as his asshole this evening do i do i take that leap and Again, just as I did the first reasonable, rational decision, I followed it up with, of course, the most reasonable. Um, got laid. And I got laid, yeah, and I did. I, like, I, I brought him right yeah, back here. Look, we all got to get ourselves That's Of course. We it's healthy. That's why healthy. we went. Yes. But did he, like, did he, like, follow up with you after that? Of course or, he did. Uh, of course he did. did. I don't want to say you had to shake him off your trail but uh, uh how i sh i got to shaking immediately i got <laughs> like, 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 like a dog in i a wasted rainstorm. no yeah. time <laughs> just and exactly <laughs> i fucking <laughs> i was like, like get yeah, the fuck I off of me oh <laughs> i probably uh, should not have done that yeah it would have been easier if you it would have been way it. easier we already I mean, know I've some, like, I've, I've... now we all have we yeah, all <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I feel like having gotten the picture yeah. before who I've gone on dates with, like, but I've also like okay, so my bad date story. So I I date like I go on dates maybe on an annual basis because I mm -hmm. just don't have the energy to meet somebody on apps. Like mm -hmm. it's it's too much work. Uh, I have friends who I can text with. Um, yeah. People I know that I like mm -hmm. uh, who aren't gonna send me dick pics. Um, I'll hey. Ask for them. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, my friends would not do that. Um. My DMs are open, gentlemen. Please, Listen, do not stop on my account. On He's got a LinkedIn profile. Back. <laughs> Find him. Find me. Send it on LinkedIn so I can know oh, what you're for. Your dicks, like, your dicks will find me well. Not only do I have a LinkedIn, I have standards. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, so I met this guy on Hinge um, last year, and I. He seemed normal. Uh, we were talking. It, mm -hmm. It's going fine. Um, and so he asked me on a date, and I was actually out of town that week. So mm -hmm. I can't, like, until, like, for a couple weeks. But, like, he's like, that's fine. And we kind of text in between a little bit. Yeah. And it's going fine. And so finally, like, we get up to, like, the day of the date. And he'd asked me to meet him out by uh, Navy Yard. Um, yeah, we were just down there. Yeah. 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 And I was looking at it uh, that, that morning. I was like, actually, this is a little further than I feel like going for a first date. Mm -hmm. Let's meet in the middle. Sure. But he, wanted, but he wanted to go to a barcade. Like, you know, those, like, yeah, I got arcade you. games. Like, I'm big on, like, old school, like, video games, Sega, mm -hmm. Ski Ball, um, yeah. you know, uh, Tic-Tac-Toe, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> old school, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very, very old. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crossword puzzles, uh, oh, Sudoku. <laughs> I used to have the books. I yes, have yes, yes. Oh, shit. Sudoku's my shit. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to shut the door real quick. Keep going. I know, but I, um, so he, um, we set up for 7 30 and we're going to meet in DuPont. He, he's like, um, yes to the place. I, I countered offered with another, uh, barcade. Mm -hmm. He said yes to the spot and I, I, uh, um, Yes, it's but like, let's meet in Dupont and get dinner first. And I was like, I don't know about second location for a first date, but maybe let's get dinner goes. And uh, so I get there around like seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. Um, he texts me, "Hey, I'm running late." Yeah. He was a full half hour late. Nice. Rolls up on a lime scooter, which he took from Navy Yard to Dupont Circle. Can I tell you, mm -hmm. just real quick, I had somebody do that uh, from. Dupont or from Logan Circle to uh to basically there to Nats Stadium yeah. basically to the uh That's not a short trip. No, not at all. That the, the, you, the, you would want to plan your your day around. That was a very drunk person and it ran out of battery halfway oh, on their trip yeah. and they got stranded. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm fully against this. Anyway. Yeah. But go, so, please go. I just thought that was so you know, interesting. Basically the same you place. Know, you have 
Like, because we agreed on the place that morning. So if you know all day you need to be there. But I, like, went to a bookstore, and, like, I, I like, lose track of time bookstores. I'm like, you know what? Fine. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm also late all the time. Uh, so I meet him at the restaurant, and I take, like, a week off from drinking just because, like, I don't even explain myself. Um, I'm so sorry. I know. Um, it was, must have been an awful week. Possible this week. Um, <laughs> you no, um, I was just yeah. taking a break from it. Um, yeah. And so I need a drink right now. We go into the restaurant and um, he um, we order our food and he's like, "You want to get a drink?" And I was like, "No, oh, okay, I'm not drinking this week." And he's like, "Oh, come on!" And he just keeps like saying like stuff like that. I was like, like yeah. "Fine, I'll have a glass of wine." But like the first, that's the first red flag is he's like trying to fresh me to get angry. Yeah. yeah. So then we go and sit down, and wait for our food, and for the first half hour, um, all he could talk about was weed. Nice. Um, I, I and I'm a fan of weed. I I think it's great. I think there are huge medical benefits. I tried to change the topic multiple times, mm -hmm. and all he could talk about, all he could bring back to was weed, and he in his late thirties. Also has like twenty year old roommate, so third red flag. Oh, yeah. but maybe he has nerves. I don't know. Yeah. Um, or maybe I'm just too generous with my time. So, I mean, <laughs> so we finish eating, and he seems to like have like warmed up. Or the conversation's been a little bit better. He's like, "Are right, you ready to go to that barcade?" And I was like, "Uh, I don't know." And he's like, "Well, I already called a lift." Too late. Yeah, right. you have to go now. I already. Uh, well, and, he had, <laughs> and the thing is, like, it was like right after the pandemic like, oh. things were opening. He didn't have a mask for the lift. But, okay, you know what? Fine. I was obviously making bad decisions that night. So I, I go with him to the barcade. It's, it's mm -hmm. like a few blocks away. Mm -hmm. Um, And I love a barcade. I love ski ball. I love air hockey. I love playing pool. I'm not good at pool, but I love playing it. Um, But they also have a rooftop bar at this place. Yeah. And he beelines for the elevator to go to the rooftop bar nary a game was played that night damn the yeah. fuck are you going there for for the bar yeah so we, we sat there so it's called a bar cage because for the bar the thing asking me <laughs> and and like proceeds to get like just totally drunk yeah and he's doing that thing where like every time i see the lady in black he's like touching me he's like ha 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 touching my thoughts just looking for an excuse just, right like, in yeah. scooting a chair closer and so yeah. now i'm like i don't want to wrap this up i want to go home <laughs> i was sitting, giving this guy way too much of my time he's already trying to set up two dates following our first date that's on insane the first yeah. date. so it's like the eighth red flag by there but sorry, <laughs> to it's no, it's just, yeah. um, i'm listening to you talk about that and what and that's i feel like that's what happened with me and this guy i like right because i'm like oh we can do all this 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 and he's like yeah and then yeah, oh. maybe you can <laughs> maybe you yeah, can shit sure. you know we're but you're my best friend. I'm definitely your best friend. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was like, talk. I was like, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't think I ever want to see him again. And then he <laughs> kissed in a way that I was oh, not into. And kiss. He, he keeps going for the kiss, and I like try to pull away. Oh, my God. Like, What's wrong? And I'm like, I need to go home. Yeah, I got to get home. What he's, like, the fuck? He's like, drunk, so like, he like, I don't know. So then he like we go down and get our lifts and he's like texting me for the next couple of days. No. And I, I like I'm texting back like very loosely to like be like I have no interest in you. Mm. But he's not getting the picture stuff out. I'm like, hey, um, this isn't working for me. <laughs> Gonna fly. So he sends me the text like, yeah, okay, I get it. And then an hour later, he's like, I'm not gonna try to even change your mind, but. But well, so I but wonder what this could be. Why start over and try and change your mind? <laughs> It's just, oh, it was so bad. If uh, your mind was like more flexible, maybe <laughs> shit. Like, oh my God, that, that's <laughs> that date. And then the other date I had that was really bad um, was um, I think it was during the pandemic. I went on a date with this one guy. Um, met him for drinks, and he seemed pretty normal. I knew he was a professional poker player before the date. Oh shit! But you know, um, any any storm. Uh, so, professional poker so that means you're good at losing money uh, on a regular basis he makes money playing poker so that's like yeah. that's crazy to me yeah no um but he, he was he seemed very down to earth seemed very normal um, yeah and the date was going fine i was thinking to myself like maybe i could go on a second date with this guy and then right as like we asked for the check we're like three quarters of the way through the date uh mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about skiing mm -hmm. and uh he I'm like, oh, you know, my cousin's really good at skiing. 
And all out of nowhere, he goes, you know, step sibling porn is really popular, John. Wow. Oh, I'm fucking done. And I, 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 I didn't know what to say, so I said nothing. And he thinks, like, buddy, you nailed that one. Keep going. Yeah. And go on, he did. Because he goes, like, you know, because every time I get on Pornhub, I see that genre on the front page. And so sweet. And I told him I did stand up. So, like, he's just feeding me. Oh. Now. Like, whoa. Like, it's like, Do you think he, he, could, he was doing that for you I in know, some way? I don't, or? Okay. I don't think he was. It was still I, unaware. I, no, no I, I tell that story on stage. Like, I followed up with, you know, like, you know, and he said genre, so I know he's like a connoisseur of the pornographic arts or like a <laughs> casual viewer. <laughs> so like, and then he like walks me to the metro, even though it's like, I'm fine. He goes in for the hug, but like he hugs me too long. Oh, like, what? oh my God. So like, we like get another date. I'm like, uh, no, I just saw you as a friend. And that's me being nice. And he goes, thanks for the candor. Thanks for being so curt, you dumb cunt. <laughs> But fuck, I hugged you. You remember when I told you about my favorite genre of porn? That was that was those were intimate listen, uh, listen, more, details about my life. Some girl that can't be fucking around with those yeah. step sibling guys. Like yeah. my parents are happily married, and that's a long pawn for a one night stand. Definitely. Because you definitely don't have a uh, repeatable like dick energy. Yeah. <laughs> There's no re recidivism there. Son, son, y'all be wild, man. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie though. Real talk. If I, if I, yes, please. There's some I, real talk. Like, in a, if I was in a bad date, I'd probably stick around because I have a mission. I'm there. I have a mission. I need that was my mentality. I was fulfilling and my I mission. I don't give a fuck. What? I was, I was like, what are well, you talking about? Yeah, I mean, a couple dates with a mission, but the same person, I'm like, I shouldn't let this guy. No, yeah, yeah. So let me tell you something. Yeah, that's where I fucked up. This. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get it where you can get it. I don't care what the fuck she's talking about. I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a go. To, I'm gonna go to her place after. Oh yeah, I'm having fun. I'm gonna go to her place at the end of the night. I'm gonna knock out my bullshit, and then I'm never talking to her again. You know, this is yeah. really great that you're saying this on a recorded podcast, so that way everyone. Maybe don't wear your shirt. You don't wear your shirt to your date tonight. <laughs> Relationship with Petra. Oh my god. He's on a guys, let me just tell you now the only girl in his life is Daisy. Uh, <laughs> my baby number one. She'll always be a this energy that these these women. Oh my god, I met this guy last night. He can, he got a podcast too. Oh my god. Let's listen to it. Let's listen to the podcast. <laughs> I have a mission. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut out that one. Then I, I'm gonna... You can just, just play it on repeat every time you go. Like, I have a mission. Awesome. I have a mission. Yeah. And I'm gonna knock out that shit. Yes. And like, never like, speak to them again. There's no joy in my voice when I said that. You gotta like joy in your voice. And I'm just like. No, I mean. I mean, it's like you're gonna like murder them. Yeah. <laughs> You, you have to specify your mission. Oh, 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 oh. Like... Tangent. No, this is my mission. It's not. I don't, I, go, I don't go for sex. I go to kidnap Dude, I saw <laughs> a guy's profile that said, like, um, what was it? Um, He ended up with, like, and don't worry, I won't murder you. Wow. And I was like, buddy, you're going with the first impression? <laughs> I didn't even know that was on the table. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't expect to come home. It's on the operating table, table actually. Alive. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to operate on you, on the operating table. Up on me before you even met me. Like, mm -hmm. maybe I'm murderable. Like, why really? are you just saying you're throwing in the towel? Maybe, I yeah. No. yeah. I don't... could be mad annoying. Like, you might want to you, strangle you me. Don't, you don't like, you might, I mean, you don't might, like, talk long enough that you're like, those stairs are looking real good. Mm -hmm. A little shove. <laughs> I have to stop everything down. I have... We're gonna start taking a survey, and you are you are our first uh, our, our first pulled on the survey. Okay. 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 So no pressure whatsoever, but you're setting you're setting the uh, the precedent for everyone else if they do watch this. Well, you guys now like sit the bar real low. So, so here here comes the bar. I mean, what do you th what do his teeth make you think? of? But does he look more dateable to you because of his teeth? Go ahead and smile. Yeah, go ahead and smile for M. No, I no, he's. Uh, don't be ashamed now. I think we both have lovely smiles. But I think like, this isn't about me. This is I about him. I think I think Lorenzo has a nice smile. Okay. I, for me, uh, a nice smile is a really, 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 really attractive. Okay. So like, I I like looked at a guy's dating profile. I'm like, he has a nice smile. He seems approachable. Like, yeah. 
maybe Morgan. Oh no, that's not what he wrote. No. Uh huh. Like, but like, just based off of like a nice smile. Like, I, yeah. like, I don't think like teeth as much. No, it's about the teeth though. I have, like, I, well, I have like a fucked up baby tooth. Like. Oh really? So I, I can't say shit about somebody. Yeah, teeth. I have I have these mad boys over here. Like oh, these, the, yeah, canine? the canine shit. Like the fucking so. Little vampires. I pretend. Yeah, I pretend I'm a vampire sometimes. Wait, did you? you but you haven't been to a dentist in like 20 years. Yeah, so 20. Like, you don't even know if that's what it's doing to you. I'd rather talk about that off mic. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that's too personal. <laughs> Fuck my sex oh, life. Oh, my oh, fucking. Oh, 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 my fucking... dick rather than go. <laughs> yeah. I do not want to reveal to the people that I haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you could trust me. Here I am just putting no, it out for no, the people. Hair in your shit. Oh, boy. boy. What? <laughs> but seriously, so his teeth in particular, oh, that's not. If you would, please, I mean. Your teeth seem perfectly fine and like sparkling clean. I don't know what to say. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so. You're the one who's ashamed of them. I'm saying put them to work. What? <laughs> no, 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 you, I, you gotta hear the story. It'll make more sense. I, I'm not asking you to. Is there a you got drink? <laughs> you want a drink? You need a. Yeah, is there a beer? Is there another beer? I got beers downstairs. I'll bring you one. No, no, I, I got you. There, we can open the wine. You tell the story. Hey, over, it's, 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 it's red wine. It's wet. It's wet. It's. You know what? I love that you think I'm classy enough to want my wine think, to be uh, refrigerated. Oh my god. But I drink warm white Here, wine any time of the year. Where do you, like, you have it? You have it in your they bag. They have it right there. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not. Decoy. I think I'm it's a... a very unclassy woman. Oh no, no, this oh. is right. This is right. We'll yeah. Yeah, it's see, so look at that. I know what a Cabernet Sauvignon is. Yeah. I what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I, I would, the best thing I ever heard about wine was I was listening to a guy. Um, he was on the other side of the wine aisle from me at the grocery store. Mm. He's talking on the phone. He goes, uh, you sent the wrong person to buy wine. I don't know a Cabernet from a hat. <laughs> Yo, I also don't. I don't even know what you said. Do you want uh, any red wine? Is it sweet? No. I'm going to make a face. It's going to be like. I want to see. I that. want to see the gap. No, no, no. Get the viewers what they want. Give you a sample. Bring sample. me Yo, juices. Tell her the story there. while I'm downstairs. I've already heard it. So. Okay. okay, yeah, tell me the story. I guess I'll tell you the whole story to Jag for time. So, I right, so from the top, I um, uh, I've heard a lot, especially recently, that I look like I date white women. So I asked my friend, and he, I was like, I was like, I was like, Yo, um. Dude, I was like, do I look like I date white women? He was like, he was like, nah, you definitely do. I was like, what, what about does, me? What does a man who looks like he dates white women look like? No, I mean, hold besides on. a white I, man. I'm about to tell you. Hold on, I'm about to oh, tell yeah, you. Okay. Cause he said, he said you do. He said every he's like everything about you for real. He's like, for one, so you saw my you saw my my Honda out there. He was like, that right there. Okay, that, so the car? Yeah, he's like you. He's like you drive that SUV. The, 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 the car, like you know, you know the white, the white SUV. woman's. Love, they just yeah, drop they, their panties yeah, in the SUV. The SUVs, y'all love it. It looks like I carry white women, and also uh, apparently because my teeth are so white. He was like, your teeth are so white. He was like, yeah, you got that mad dental hygiene, man. That's <laughs> it, that's. It that's, attracts y'all like a like a like a touch. like a bat signal. <laughs> I've never looked at a guy and been like, oh my god, his teeth are so white. I need to take him home. It's hypnotizing. Oh my god. Did, Carrie, did you see Thomas's teeth? They fucking sparkle. My heart is set. Like, <laughs> like what? And, like, okay, as a white woman, I guess that's why he asked. Like, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a white woman who prefers not to date white men on top of that. Like, that's just not a factor to me. Like I don't. So, I mean, I guess since I live in DC, I don't own a car. But like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not what attracts y'all. But maybe that's just. I don't know. Is there? Do is I there look like, like I, I date white men? I would assume so from the jump. My but like, you're really white, funny. But he, he really, yeah, no, he really turned no. Me off there's all the that. thing. You're real funny, so that. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I was like, no. She definitely doesn't she, date white men. The funny she's ones too are too funny. smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, she's way too funny. Dude, I had to explain to my ex why the Louis C.K. shit was like <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. And that's when I knew I was done with white men. Oh, son. Oh, son. Like the thing about white men though is like they have not had any. They've 
straight white men. Yeah, I yeah, should be yeah. specific. Yeah. They've had very little adversity in their life, and like even if they try to be understanding of their privilege, they just they don't, don't get it. Get it. And I am tired of like hand holding white men and being like, You're doing such yeah. a good job. Like I will think like maybe like a, a white guy who's from a different country. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe so I can like go for that accent. But but it, it's just, it's the same with an accent, though. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like, it's like colonizer energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, and as a, as, a, as a white woman, it's just not something that makes my pants. You're like, I'm not trying to? Mm, I'm not trying to have, hit that. I'm not trying to be Also, like, white men are just disappointing in all, like, elements of the word. I love this conversation. I know a few white, no, I know some very good white guys who are, like, my no, friends. They're all, all married. Too. They're all married, though. Well, the married white men I know are the good ones, and and I'm not jealous. Of, uh, I, I'm glad I'm just friends with them. But like, yeah. it's like the single white men my age in their thirties. There's a reason why they're single. Oh, you're chipping the bottom of you dug through the barrel. You're just like scraping out the dirt from underneath. Oh it. shit! Yeah, it's so bad. Yeah. It's like when you uh, it's like when you got like a tea or some shit. You got your little lemon peels and your lime peels still in there, and you're trying to get like a little bit of liquid left, but you don't want all the like that excess mm, shit in there. It's not even that. Yeah. It's no. like you get like stale peel. Oh shit! The tea's like three days old. Oh, like, oh. I just I have tried to like talk to like I, I went on a date with a white guy. Like I, I tried to be open minded, but every time I go on a date with a white guy, I just leave it be like. This is the worst. Oh my this god! This dude's the worst, and I knew better. <laughs> I, I knew better than to go out with this white guy. But I thought you're on a dry streak, Em. It's it's we're 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 in in, in desert storm here, and e- any port is storm, but not my port. Not 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 his his ship in my port. I'm gonna be real with you. At this point in my life, I wouldn't take as many risks as I have. You know. But how old are you? I'm 27. 27. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like. I I've been out there. I've you been just wild. let me say you're 25. Or so. No, yeah, I be like, yeah. man, he be saying random shit. I just let it you go. You heard it here it's first on the LMC been... podcast. Lorenzo is 27, going on 28 if he's lucky. <laughs> if society supports him as the as the man oh. he is. All right. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, as a black person. No, yeah. 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 Well, so you know what he gets up to then if he's lucky. Okay. I mean, oh I'm God. just saying he said, look, he didn't cure cancer because he was busy having sex. Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah. So I have a problem. Tests keep coming back negative. We're doing well. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm working on it. <laughs> Can you go with like, Sex Anonymous? <laughs> Hello, oh, my name's Lorenzo. Hi, Lorenzo. You know, I'm a sex addict. <laughs> I mean, I could have been curing cancer, but I'm doing a podcast. There you go. Thank you. Let's get the camera on okay. Lorenzo. Cheers to Lorenzo Cheers. making it to 28. Oh my god. Cheers. Bling, bling, bling. Oh my god. No, this is so fun. Well, let's see. I want to see your fucking reaction, you little fucking child. Please. Oh, it's nice. Look at it. This is my dad's favorite brand. Your dad's one of my favorite people because he bought me. A I want to meet your dad. His dad's yeah, nice. he, Anyone he, that buys me alcohol is a fan of mine. <laughs> He's you. So. <laughs> and, I'm a fan that of that. That can go downhill well. really easily. Literally, like, like anybody Oh my god! Don't even, don't even You're get me started. You're on the fan club like page, like wide open. Buy me drinks, bitches. Buy me drinks. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to drink this shit, please. We need to see your reaction. He's stalling. <laughs> exactly. I'm a hold. I'm gonna be holding this shit at the end of the podcast. Yeah. You'd be like, it's <laughs> important. You're gonna be like, Lorenzo, what's the advice for today? <laughs> don't drink, bitches. No, don't fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You see that there's like a handle of bourbon right behind him. Uh, sh- sure is. <laughs> Brand spanking too. I'm uh, I'm ready. I, I, have to keep liquor. I, I also like I have to stop keeping like alcohol in my house yeah. um during the pandemic because I like, mm-hmm. have one of those days when I take out the recycling. I was like, this is clinking a little too loud. Oh my like, God. Damn. And then when I had jury duty, the same thing happened again, and I was like. Mm. But I mean, I was on jury duty for nine weeks. So oh I was, my like, gosh. I had some fuck up shit. Sorry. I don't want to enable you by drink yeah. but we're enabling him to not drink this and so please sure, i'm I mean, trying to distract him no, no i was letting like, her cook i was letting like, her cook i should have added more input i should have been like oh you know yeah, yeah don't tell us about the jury duty this is my mission no, like, we well, need well, to just take a sip accidentally drink it without thinking yeah it. or accidentally That's spill it yeah. there's a prize yeah. at the bottom of it. Stop. Oh, <laughs> it's shit. Yeah. oprah poured this for us you get a drink and you'll get a drink yeah get a drink 
Miss. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dating. All right, come on. Let's see. It's it's fine. It's it's a You got this. Drive. You can do it. It's a little dry. It's yeah. Robust. It's robust. It's like yes. Do you not like? I want the people to see the face. Oh well, okay. That that's well. Then why are you pressure? He does like yeah, alcohol. That's a fucking lie. That's what I'm saying. What is his back? He, he doesn't like the taste. So like he doesn't like what? shit. This doesn't taste, like, taste like alcohol. Like liquor tastes like alcohol. Yeah. No, no. Wine has a wine flavor, right? Like yeah. if if you were drinking that back, like you said, the handle oh, of yeah, bourbon yeah, back yeah. there, that would so be like different. If somebody made you like a really nice steak that they cook like red wine. Well, he's a vegan. Yeah, I was about to say. I'll he's a vegan. straight up if vegan. If I made you like a really nice risotto that I said, <laughs> like a pumpkin risotto with like some white wine or something like that. In oh, it. That's all right. Vegan friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, if you have an instant pot, I'll send you a really good uh, vegan chili recipe. I have my oh, word. Cooker. I think it'll work for me. No, no, no. no. A, no. An instant pot is a pressure cooker, oh, and a well. rice cooker is just for rice. No, my rice cooker can make like cakes and shit, though. Can make what? It can make cakes and shit. Cakes? Yeah. I think they said kicks, like the old cereal kicks. Kick! Oh my gosh! Ah, shit! <laughs> I. Is not... in the box? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not kick. Oh, that oh yeah, that was the one, that was the one my dad. That was the one my dad used to eat all the time. Honey snacks is my shit though. I never was a cereal person. My parents always had cereal at home for breakfast, and I, I just got sick of eating it. Kicks looks like off-brand tricks. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what kicks is. Oh, you had kicks in the house. Yeah. So yeah. kicks, the regular kicks with some sugar. I love how you haven't taken a sip yet, you motherfucker. Please, please, can we get this over? I just want to be able to put the cam back on M. Let you just do a smell. Yeah. So we, we, we walk you through it. Let's walk. So first swirl, swirl. Look at the legs, right? Okay. So you're gonna, the le you don't know what the legs are. That's as it's, you know, sort of drooping down the sides from where you swirl, right? You're looking at that for the character, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see if it's. Thicker or thinner, right? We're looking at the legs, it gives you an idea. Just, just give it a little smell. It gives you an idea I of the texture. It. And I smell it. it. I can smell it. For I me. smelled it when he first brought it. Right, so how does it smell to you? To keep those, those baby white. It smells like it's going to taste nasty. Trying to keep those, those white, those white teeth sparkling. Yeah. Exactly. Oh uh, yeah, I'm that's the problem. Yeah, on. sure. <laughs> that, that was. White pearl beacon. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That's one of the jokes I I tried last night. I said um, my dad walks me through this every time, and and I'm like, yeah, it all just smells like sweaty pool cleaner to me, and oh so God. it's not going to really I make a difference. Don't drink it now. The smell isn't going to make a difference, but the taste—it's the combination of everything. The thing, the thing is, like, if you drink red wine when it's right out of the bottle right away, yes. it, it will taste worse. Then if you give it a little bit of time to like aerate, I thought little, you were going to say better. I'm definitely the, not drinking it now. Taste. Listen, it's about the tannins, which is a word I know is associated with wine. Yes, and that's all we need to know. Is that oh my God. by association? Oh, that's a wine. Like the it waspiest, like, <laughs> Have you heard about the tannins? There was a double homicide in their house. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't you know, like, the, the tannins are, like, in the news for the wrong reason. Yeah, they shot that kid, didn't they? Oh, my uh, goodness. We don't know if it was the mom or the dad, but there's a miniseries <laughs> already being filmed by Oxygen. <laughs> Not us. Or, or what was that uh, that network? Did, like, the when women when women kill lifetime. Lifetime. Yeah. Lifetime. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Drink. It's called double lot double. That's lot an order. Life. We need to just take a sip. Aye, 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 sir. Here we go. Okay. Just a sip. So, so Here we go. Just put a little bit on your finger. No, that's that's that's, a taste. that's somehow that's nastier. That's some other, you're just gonna taste your sweat and your grime. What? They're not even gonna taste the thing. The 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 paper. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Together. Go Three, two, one. <laughs> There's no plant for you to pour this into. I was looking for one. Yeah. Son, I'm like, I, yeah, I like how you're looking at me like I'm waiting to drink with you. I like this. I'm going to drink it. I mean, I'm almost through my glass. So. <laughs> I know, right? Like, come on. Well, Just okay, taste it. I'll give you. I'll, Listen, peer pressure I have, is all fun. Let's revisit this later. No, it's, it's great. That's what this podcast is all about, actually, is peer pressure. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think this was going to be like pulling your nice perfect teeth over there i mean please just take a sip one sip one sip all right I don't want to be involved with this nah. <laughs> she's out it's this. like i'm you forced to... like, just don't give me my date for the guy <laughs> one glass of wine later trying to get oh my like, god you're pregnant. <laughs>
This isn't even a glass. This is a fucking, this is a you puddle. Don't have to drink. You don't need to have a drink. Just a sip. Yeah, I'll fucking pour the rest out into mine after. I pour it in my glass. You got this. Okay. You got this. Three, two, one. I'll give you a water. One. Drink. Yeah, I have Coke downstairs. There you go. Oh, you didn't have to do all that. It's not that bad. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink it like a shot. It skipped your tongue. It went straight to your fucking throat. That's how I drink everything. That's, that's how, how you drink, drink nice wine. Hey, that's how You're I supposed drink. to let it rest on your tongue. That's how I drink everything. Now, how does it taste? Or describe it on your tongue. What what did touch your tongue? It's a little tart. No. Yes. It's straight. It's straight. It's straight. It's straight. It is straight. It's a good bottle. That that right. brand is really good. Seeing the shimmer of joy. <laughs> yeah. Very shimmer. You will in about. In general. You will in about 15 yeah. minutes on an empty stomach. Yeah. yeah. Beverages during pregnancy. Did you taste that? Oh shit! I am pregnant. Fuck. Damn. Congratulations. No 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 oh, no 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 no. You know I'm what? Congratulations on having a choice on your body yeah. about whether. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting rid because of Because I know. Sure, don't for much longer. Oh, so I got the IUD. <laughs> That's why I got pregnant now, so I could get my abortion out the way before they change it. Yeah, you know it's already changing now. Shit. Do we want to segue into abortion or what were we, we talking about? Dude, I tried to write jokes about abortion really? recently, actually, like about like I'm getting so fed up with all this shit in the news uh -huh. and um, trying to figure out like what can I liken to abortion. Like where only women choose this to a man's body, and the only thing you come up with is a prostate exam. I guess. And it's like, or vasectomy, but still, no, it's not even like. Is, is still, it's not invasive, right? It's I not mean, as. Invasive. Invasive. But like, I think they got like, 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 well, well, my thought process was, is you don't want to have it, but you're gonna do it because you need to. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I could think of was like a prostate exam. It's like, and like that's not good enough. Some yeah. people don't mind them. Yeah. I've never had one because I don't have a prostate. Oh, really? Jeez. Surprising. You don't know what you have I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> I, I, have, I have shocking news for you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a great anatomy lesson this turned into. <laughs> my goodness. I mean, I'm not going to show you, but uh, if you look at if you, if you, No, my... My... Hit me that Yoshi, I can point on where on the box. Stop, holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> hit me that Yoshi, I can, where, I can, where, I can, oh my gosh. Give me the Diddy Kong. My mother. Yeah, the Diddy Kong is a little bit more uh, appropriate for the finality. So, if, if this tie <laughs> is a penis. I know. I know, I know, you this don't. Not there. I get it, you can't come, I understand. It's oh, not, well, it's overrated. <laughs> It depends on who I'm hooking up with. I don't discriminate like to like men and women. Like if you got a tongue, we don't have a problem. Oh, Jesus. Like, we can figure the rest out. But like, like, you know, I'm just I'm just saying like so if these are the balls, yeah. If, the, if these are the balls mm -hmm. right here. This is great for um, this is, this YouTube. Is I hope this comes up in your dad's feed. I know the penises are go from the neck when he's like listening to. Feet. Of the body. When he's listening to Cher or whatever. Oh. Um, none of that's on a woman. Yeah. None of it? No. For real? You don't have a penis? Are you fucking for real? Are you sure? I know I hide it, and I walk like I got big dick energy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you heard it here first. I started a That shit is crazy. I never fucking knew. I never yeah. fucking knew. I was doing fucking... improv scene once, actually. Uh, it started off with, like, my friend, my scene partner gave me this line of, well, we finally did it, and the only thing I could think of was, like, yep, we finally got had sex after six months of marriage. We finally figured it out. Finally. Uh, I don't know. So for me, I feel like, even though I'm a good Christian boy and I'm a be a virgin for life because I love the Lord and, and He would want mother, me to be pure. And your mother's listening. <laughs> of course. She knows. She wants, no, she watches. I love it when you like winked at the camera. Of course. No, no. She, she does. She watches every episode. She's very that's, supportive. That's adorable. I yeah. love that. My mom has never seen me do comedy. No, she actually came to my last set and she recorded it for me. Yeah. No oh, wow. Your mom supportive. lived nearby. She, I, well, I moved to Salisbury because that's where I'm from. Because I, I was, I was gone from home for like almost ten years, and then I was like, I'm gonna move back to my I family. I love that. That's why I moved yeah. to DC was to be closer to my grandpa. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love family. Love you, mama. You know what I'm saying? All, all my sisters, everybody. I love you too, mom. You know I love you too. Mom, we're working on it. Um, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. My mom is amazing. My dad, my dad is also like really cool. He's like my best friend. Like we, I, 
If I don't call him more than like twice in the week, it means I'm having a great week. Yeah. Oh. But like you can tell like how my week's going by like uh calls per per day. Mm -hmm. oh so it's like God. a batting average for like oh, calls and I call my dad. <laughs> like her 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 sad phone call average is this month in like point three five. He's got like a graph and shit. <laughs> he, he, like, there's sometimes my dad answers my phone call and I'm like, Yeah, I'm back. Oh my god, no. But my he listens. And he's like, you, well, like if I'm playing at work, he's like, Well, did you fuck up your financial situation? Oh my god. And I was like, No, he's like, Well, sometimes you know, frustrating things happen. And it, he's oh my god, he's amazing. My yeah. mom's great too. Like they both just retired too. Like, oh nice. It's really weird for me to think of them like just hanging out with they them just, each other at home. Just okay? Chilling and shit. Like, what is that like? They need a, do they have hobbies? Do they like um, they're redoing the house. Oh. Um, my dad's a journalist. My mom is uh picked up a, a job teaching kids how to cook. That's her like real like culinary thing. arts yeah, type. Yeah, it's like, like you sign up your kids for like X number. When you say kids, like what's the age? Like range? young, mm. like young I, kids. Uh, but they have like kids take like nights, nights. But she like a couple times a week will go into this like kids culinary school and do like lessons for like four or five kids. And I'm really glad she found it too because like. She's a wonderful person, but I worry she's gonna go stir crazy. Sitting in the yeah. house all day. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, so it, it makes me really happy to hear how excited she is to talk about it too. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. And and she has other kids to worry about other than me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Hey. My mom and I, we we we. we my mom and I, we reached a, a milestone together recently. We were talking about the prostate. She just got a um a colonoscopy that I took her to. Oh, that that's. I the saw the how that shit goes. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. My ex husband got a colonoscopy. Oh, really? There too. Have, so I would say that's another thing that both both people, I'm me, sure. Son. You'd have to do me. Oh, yeah. they all up in there, boy. Well, you, you, got, you got to drink all this stuff the night before so your colon. Oh, you got to yeah. flush your colon out. You, you got to do it. We, got, we stopped by Crumble Cookies after and got like two boxes. And, you know, yeah, like she got, she ex, ate whatever the uh, fuck she like, wanted after. We yeah. took like a, a, a taxi home and he mm -hmm. was like, my ex husband was like, I. If I don't get Shake Shack, mm -hmm. I'm going to just murder something. Yeah, she. So we had them drop the stuff at Shake Shack because I was the nearest person to him. Mm. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was never abusive or anything like that. We just like people grow apart. Um, yeah. But like it's. Um, it happens. It was, it was interesting because he like bought like three cheeseburgers to bring. Oh my but I gosh. Guess, like, he hadn't like eaten in a yeah. day. In a minute, you're like. My oh, mom did yeah. the opposite. She um she. We went and got reservations at a fancy restaurant in Fredericksburg, Ooh. and then we we ate like everything on the menu between like five people. We we tried like everything. Ooh. Yeah. That's my favorite thing to do at a restaurant is mm. to like go oh, and like that. like every like half hour just swap plates. Yeah. Dude, okay, wait, okay, wait. I gotta ask you, like, okay, I'm not big into sweets, um, mm -hmm. but I have one dessert that I can never say no to. Do you all have like what's your favorite dessert that you like will always say yes to no matter how hungry you are or are not? Or like what kind of mood you're in if somebody offers you this dessert you always say yes well you go because i mean i bake stuff sometimes yeah, and i make these cookies he puts crack in them bitches literally <laughs> them bitches are good it's so expensive though no. oh my god them he's just going are... broke on yeah it. i show you better believe the it the purest cookies that you can get from Colorado. it's my prep dealer i get the crack from yeah. actually uh, <laughs> but, they, they, but it's powder white yeah. just like the flour oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No. and the thing that the real secret uh -huh. you gotta do is you gotta sift the cocaine into like, the flour <laughs> when you're getting it like that way it makes it even yeah it's it's, it's... <laughs> Evenly distributed, yes. Wait, okay, so wait, what is your what is your dessert? You well, you no you go, yeah. Do you have? I one? guess like uh, you've been on the cinnamon roll. Yeah, with I've the been vegan. with the vegan cinnamon roll. He found it. Oh a, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love. I can see I saw a, a TikTok the other day where they put like jam in in a, in a cinnamon roll, and then they put crazy, frosting uh, on top. That sounds like a French and toast I almost. Would yeah. Fuck a bitch up for that. I don't even have a sweet tooth. I have a salt tooth. Like, I cannot yeah. say no to anything. No, mm -hmm. I've noticed that the older I get, I'm, like, less off the of sweets and, like, more into, like, I like tortilla chips and I've been craving chips yeah, more than anything anymore. with cheese in it. I'm lactose intolerant, so, like, any yeah. good lactose intolerant person, like, anything with cheese in it is my kryptonite. Oh, my fucking mm -hmm. God, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't eat, like, red meat or anything like that. Yeah. Like, I'll eat, like, fish and chicken, but, like... All right, but, but, okay, but, like, but what is the great baker's favorite dessert so my dad makes the best carrot cake i've ever had 
carrot cake with cream cream cheese icing the whole deal it's phenomenal uh the sugar cookie recipe he was talking about that's also a family recipe um that's my favorite cocaine you heard it here first yeah it's the crack that i put in deliberately no tell her people make like 40 or some shit and well one work all the time yeah i eat like 30 of them bitches in a day oh for real i i i it's not my favorite dessert but i have a recipe for kitchen sink cookie yeah, I've had yeah, that before. Uh, but it doesn't have like chips. My mom's been making it since I was like a mm-hmm. kid, and it's my favorite thing. Yeah, those are great. I love toffee. Mm-hmm. It's one of the few sweets I really like. And I can see that. Really you like the salty. Yeah. yeah. So oh, everything be in there. But my favorite dessert that like I I will make sex so sex noises when I eat. Uh, I think it's second is creme brulee. Okay, I, I can see that. that. It's, no, I, it I, is I, like. Yeah. It is my favorite. creme brulee. Wow. I don't know what it is about pudding. For me, that's bread pudding. A good bread pudding. Okay. Which is also obscure, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about bread pudding. I yeah, fucking, no, I, I nut is. every time. It just happens. It's, like it's involuntary. Yeah, it's like something about cracking the sugar on top. Yeah. Like, I have to change my pants you know, after. Yes. Like, right? But like a little bit of whipped cream and some fruit. Oh, uh, yeah. God. I'm getting like I'm, I'm like getting in the mood just thinking about it. Go to, um, so that restaurant I saw you, Carlisle. Yeah. Go go to one of those. They they usually have like a special two desserts that change out seasonally, but they usually have three dedicated good ones. Uh, and I think creme brulee is is one of them. It's near me by called District Kitchen in Woodley Park, uh-huh. um, and they have a good creme brulee. The be- actually the best dessert I ever had. Mm-hmm. My other favorite dessert is pie. Oh, which pies? Um, cherry pie is my favorite. That's my fucking favorite. yes. My birthday yes. Oh. Yes. Um. Yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm amenable to other topping uh, mm-hmm. fillings except for chocolate pie because, because, mm. and this is because I'm from Virginia and I know, I know better, is there are people, people who like put together chocolate pie and then put pecans on top of it and call it a oh. pecan pie and that is a goddamn lie. Uh, Grace to the name. Yeah. But a good pecan pie is like probably my second favorite. I would say, yeah, that's kind of close, close to creme brulee then. I mean, it's a lot thicker, but... Creme brulee pie. Oh, really? Because they made the, they had the pie crust, uh-huh. the really flaky, buttery pie crust, and they had, like, all the creme mm-hmm. My favorite, oh, my, my favorite. The best dessert I ever had in my life. Yeah, I, I used to be really big on cherry pie. That's a good one with some ice cream too. But I mean, I loved for a while. Like you were talking about pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie. I love those. But I've come around on a total one eighty on key lime pie. Key lime pie. I've had that before. And citrusy things. Why does key lime pie betray you. Uh, well, I just I growing up like a little as a little kid, I didn't like the bitter oh, I see. taste. Okay, so you come now I fucking love it. It's like that's cracked to me. It's key, and lemon bars are another great fucking. Bar. My dad makes lemon and bars like, like you've a never had. Buttery crust on it. Oh yeah, I'm pretty much there. So if you do meet my dad, I'll make sure we make some lemon bars Dude, for you. Oh my god. We'll hand them over. All right. When are we brunching with your dad? <laughs> I mean, hey. Sure it's like very scenic. Like, yeah. like we'll put on a picnic bat. Oh. <laughs> you, me, your dad, Lorenzo. We'll talk about the stock cap and make some. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I mean, that won't happen. But <laughs> that I mean, his dad is really proud of that. Well, I, so I, could, I said I tell him usually when I'm performing in, uh, nearby in like Northern Virginia or D.C. And um, not so that he can come but more more so that well he's gonna come regardless um That's wink awesome. wink no i'm playing i mean not so that he can show up but so that he'll um you know i feel bad like we were saying being close to a parent and not notifying them so i'll be like hey i'm gonna be here doing this at this time yeah, i mean if I, could, if I could swing it to come into richmond and mm-hmm. not tell my parents I, yeah i would consider it like, I never do it, Mom. <laughs> but I, I would be like, I would consider it to be like it's one of those things where it's just in and out of town. Mm-hmm. But I post all like I post all my show dates on on social media. My mom follows me. Yeah. So it's one of those things where like she knows like. I, I, I'm just like I'm the off chance that my dad isn't out at a bar all night. I yeah, I might be able to see him. Let me let him know where I'm at. And yeah. what ends up happening is he's at. Freddy's all night long or he's at like number nine or yeah. trade all night long and he doesn't come and that works out for both of us but yeah, that's you've done you got your brownie points exactly he got exactly he got to say like oh that's so great I'm, I'm glad you're coming yeah 
Oh have fun. You know, I'm glad you're doing things. Have fun. And then have great. Have a good have a good evening. Yeah, I mean parents <laughs> are weird like that. It's, it's hard to like like there's no It's a balance, right? It's just like, it's like you don't call me enough, we don't do enough, but then Mom it's a wonderful person. Like, she gets so excited seeing that she like every time I see her, she comes at me with so much energy. Uh -huh. It's one of those things where like if she came out with me with a calmer energy, maybe I would um You'd see her more. Yeah. I would um yeah, or, or I'd, I'd have an easier time talking to her because she also yeah. does this thing. She's like so excited I'm home. She, she does this thing where she kind of like she she narrates what I'm doing, but she does it as a she poses it as a question. Mm -hmm. So like she could see me like brushing my hair and be like, "Huh? So you're br brushing your hair? Yeah. Gonna brush your teeth next? I've got a great toothbrush. Like and like. What do you say? Yes? No? I, I'm kind of like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like it, it, it's it's so well. It's it. It's a it's a way in. Place, yeah. It's like it's, you get I get you get mad at yourself for being frustrated, but it's also one of the things where it's like. The mom who was like, I knew when I was a kid who was like annoyed at me all the time. Uh -huh. That's how my mom is now too. I mean she. Not happy not to happy to see me exactly, and it didn't used to be that way. It used to be like hilarious, you know, like he's just gonna fucking do his thing. You and, know what? I uh, even never think about that. But, but now, know, right I now, she's like, "Oh, you're home. Yeah, you want me to make dinner? You want me?" <laughs> we, we done left, and it's like, "Oh damn, huh? <laughs> these motherfuckers just be I mean, gone." And it's so chill when I go home to see my dad. Well, the thing mm -hmm. my mom's is like a double middle child. Like she had like mm -hmm. oh really? Siblings, uh, and then identical twins behind her. That's my dad. It's a yeah, similar and thing. So like, and she kind of has like a double middle child syndrome. Mm -hmm. This way, it's like she's a very valuable person, but I think that she feels a little overlooked sometimes. And I and it's something that like it's a shame because she's a smart, creative, and very talented individual. Mm -hmm. But you know, growing up in such a busy household, I don't feel like yeah. she. And so like sometimes I worry like she's like just trying to feel seen. Mm -hmm. and this way, I'm just like I, I don't know if I'm the right person to validate you. Yeah. Just like, trying to make really convers real. conversation for conversation's yeah, sake. Would be really good if you went to therapy. We go shopping is the thing we can do together. Oh yeah, that's when that moment gets awkward. We can just turn around to the rack. Yeah. Love you, mom. My, <laughs> my mom, my mom loves eating. That's probably her top thing. Like, like so she was like, "Let's go out for food." That's what we just. Sleeping. That's what we just did on on what Sunday. We she was like, "I want to go out. I want to eat." Let, where let's go downtown and i, I was like that. i was like okay well let's go to dc and we went to founding farmers and um founding farmers is good but it used to be better when they first opened. well so i wanted to go to the all you can eat brunch did you know they do that and all you can eat in, in, I did not. in so in tyson's there's two locations there's the one in dc next to the gw campus yeah. but then there's one at near tyson's galleria tyson's mm -hmm. too and that one on Saturdays and Sundays from, I think it's like 10.30 to 2. It's a really short window. Mm -hmm. They do an all-you-can-eat brunch. And it's kind of like how you were saying you like trying everything on the menu, like a tasting awesome. menu. It, you get to do that with a, a buffet. Food? No, it's go up, and they're setting these little small plates of everything out awesome. constantly. And it's so fresh. The reason they do that is because, like, the, like, uh, they have enough business in DC and they don't need to. I guess. I don't they have know. Two other locations. They have uh, Founders Distillers. Oh. They have like, a seafood location. Oh, I, I'll be Founders there. Founders Fishers, maybe. The seafood uh, one. There's a theme. If you couldn't tell with the names. No, uh, I'll I'll be at the Fisherman one yeah, next. Um, oh my god. Yeah, every time I go to a restaurant too, like I, I get like decision paralysis when I go to a restaurant too. Yeah. Like, if I see a menu that's like Well go try this I'm out. The, I'm the person who will like go online and research the menu beforehand. Mm -hmm. So like and then I panic when the waiter asks you what I want to listen to what it. Yeah, fuck it, no. No, no, my thing is, I'm like, I'll go last. And like, everybody else is ordering. You're like, that sounds better. I'm yeah. thinking about oh ordering. God. And somebody ordered the same thing I'm thinking about ordering. And I'm yeah. like, well, what did I just try there and try something else? And anyway, this yeah. is my pot for anxiety. Well, you have to well, you have to stake your claim. You have to tell them, hey, oh, I'm getting this. I'll, I'll like, still get it. I don't no, care. I'll, I'll, still, I'll get still get it, it too. Yeah. But like, uh -uh. Like, I just... I just I flipped the fuck out on my yeah. on my family when they get like if I got ribs, and, and I said I was getting ribs, and then like my cousin is like, and I'll get the uh uh, uh the the ribs, and I'm like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I said I'm gonna you can have mine. I want to have yours. No, you don't get that. <laughs> no. In the middle of the table, like what? Is this? Oh my gosh. That's gosh. a strange thing. To territory. No. I'm <laughs> That's I, what... I, know, I know there are many things I can call man out for for being wrong, but I'm like, let your cousin live with you so I can have 
not for me. Uh, Let them eat ribs. Our, but I, that's a bad example because my, with my family, we all we're all that way. It's like oh my god, we all determine beforehand. It's all so everyone fucking, gets a little bit of something. Exactly, everyone gets a little bit of something. We all share everything. Okay, so you do. You just, like it's known in your family that you're gonna do a buffet style. Yes. Okay. Well, well they, not even well. So yeah, they love buffet. Like Golden Corral is our home place. Corral once. What? In my life. What? And I was young. I it mean, was, it was my my best friend Wimbora um comes from a black family. Mm -hmm. Uh, my my family. Never, this is my black family. I'm referring to as yeah, well. No, like I'm just, they were yeah. the only people who ever like took me there. The rest of my time, no one else ever like was like when I got there. I was like, this place is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Brown used to be the spot. I mean, buffets have been my my existence as, from childhood on. It like CC's CC's Pizza. You're familiar with CC's? Yeah, sorry, I prefer, uh, the <laughs> of pizza was eaten at CC's Pizza. Those cinnamon rolls, if you've never had them, Lorenzo, oh those uh, are oh to god. die for. Yeah, on Broad Street. In oh my god. CC's Pizza. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I used to CC's Pizza. Go to CC's. All the. I used to take karate classes near. Oh my CC's fucking god. god. We'd go there after. Oh my god! I love it. Can you imagine like, as a kid too? Oh my god! I felt like the whole mm -hmm. world was at your fingertips. We had the little arcade there with the. Oh, fucking... we didn't even bother the arcade <laughs> for the pizza only. Yeah. Oh my god! We didn't get the salad. We didn't get shit. shit. Nah. You go to a buffet and you fill up on salad. That's any buffet. That that's yeah. quitting before you even start. The that's game. sacrilege, actually. Yeah. That's that's like hearing the gun go off for your race and just be like, I think I'll sit. I think yeah. I'm just gonna go I in reverse. Yeah. Have y'all been to Bonanza? Bonanza, no. It's that a, sounds familiar though. It's like a video game. It, it used to be a channel. <laughs> it used to be a channel too. I forget what the fuck they play. Maybe like westerns or some shit. Mm -hmm. but oh yeah. Channel, and it was also a restaurant in um in Del Mar and I remember they had it was kind of buffet style and they had like an ice cream machine you could get the chocolate or vanilla mm -hmm. or you could get the swirl you put the sprinkles on that shit so we'd always eat and then we'd like get the the, the ice cream before we left and shit yeah I, I just took my bitch oh, oh have I'm... you ever been on a cruise before no I haven't uh, so I've been on a cruise a couple times um because I'm a white bitch <laughs> My black aunt just went on a cruise. Thank you. No, I mean she no, I she's white actually Stop, at, at heart. <laughs> she's white, <laughs> so it made perfect sense. Uh, it made perfect sense. You know, I um went on a cruise last summer and I got COVID. Because, ooh, ooh you know, I yeah. Hey, but it was the last day I got it. So, mm. um, you didn't. It, was, it didn't ruin your trip. Mild code. Yeah. It was my very mild case, but um, the big thing on a cruise is is the buffets um, mm -hmm. and. It's really cool to go the first day and look at all this food, but by the fourth day, yeah. doing mm. the same buffet every day. Oh, mm. it's the same food? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Like, if they change it up, like, but they have, like, other places to eat on a cruise ship, but it's one yeah. thing, like, I, I went there and I was like... It's an energy drink. Yeah, He's... the way you drank that... No, oh. I knew what she. I knew what she made the face. I was like, oh, it's just... we we didn't have the camera on you. I well, regret. Why, but why would you not let the bottle touch your? He poured. He poured it into his mouth from Wait, above. Can we, can we get another? You're a professional at the. Go ahead, try it again. I drink you, every, do, do it with the you refuse to drink the wine normally. I drink every. That's how I drink everything. I have water bottles that I take with me everywhere. They're in the car right now because yeah. I knew he had. I, I got it. Yeah, so but like that's how I drink literally everything. All right, let's get the close up. Go ahead. But why? Is that how you're touching bottles? Calm that's down. Just, 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 just breathe. So... Breathe. Go ahead. Not, okay. See, you're pressuring me so many ways. <laughs> that's a good thing. He took another bottle and drank it that way, and I just had there was nothing you could have said to prepare me for. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I think it's a skill. I think I don't. I can't. I didn't even pour the wine that well when I did that. I, I mean, he did do it with the wine. Yeah. To be fair. To be fair, he just because like the oh, yeah, exactly the, threw it back. The lip is way too wide. He wanted to see the legs on the one. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, he wanted it to get to his legs as soon as possible. I got one thing to do tonight: <laughs> should accomplish those legs. Oh my god. Well, I, I never finished the, the story about this crazy guy. Oh, shit, there's um, more to that story? Well, I was just going to say, so we we went on... It's never enough. There's always more. I fucking... Every chip begins with crazy. 
That's a good one. You should trademark that. That's a good one. Best patent it, bitches. Don't steal honestly, my shit. Honestly, you could, you could do that with the K's. Oh. You could make a merch for y'all. Yeah. Every kid's if okay. Every kid's oh, because it's crazy. <laughs> We're thinking. We don't have a merch store yet, but we the first thing will be fans. Look at this beautiful T-shirt that they're wearing. Yeah. They, move the microphone. Yeah. The mic, the mic. Look at this beautiful T-shirt. Oh my gosh. That you could you you two could hope to own one one day if they invest in merchandising. Well, we're gonna release fans first, church fans. Yeah, yeah, the fans first are paramount. Now, one year from now, you're gonna be sound like church fan, like with the little, change. with the little popsicle stick. Uh, yeah. Hold, oh, yeah. yeah. Without a popsicle stick, <laughs> goddamn communist. As someone, like, I, I may be a Jew, but I grew up in rich and I know what a church fan looks like. I'm not a Jew. I didn't grow up under a rock. Oh my gosh! Uh, Come to our mega church located. Here. Statford, Virginia. Yes. Yeah, Remember, ahead. Christian lives in all of Statford, Virginia. The sad thing, you said that's my address. The sad thing is this crazy motherfucker knows where I live because I brought him back. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's, that's funny. I told him. Yeah. You know, my fault. I told mother, them, you yeah. don't take them home. home. I know, I know. I'm gonna get a firearm. I promise, but I mean, just. Listen, Liz, I don't think you have enough dementia for that. Oh yeah, oh, you don't God. think to qualify? Yeah, <laughs> that's the. Immediately, red flags in America. Own a gun. Well, you purchase a red... gun in America, you need three red flags. In red flag number one. Some red flags, but you need to be openly. <laughs> Problematic. Yeah. To own a gun in Number it. one is I invited this motherfucker to my house, so that's one. I'll, we'll get the other two in, know, in due time. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Like, we don't but trust. In New England, you probably still buy guns. You have a propensity for violence. You're on your. Oh wait, you let that guy go to your house. You that your butt? you let him. Oh nope. <laughs> that's too gay. <laughs> No Shit, gun. What else we did with his butt? I mean, yeah. <laughs> we stuck the whole damn barrel in like that, like the like they do in Colombia. The size of this gun barrel. Yeah, exactly. Actually, my my, my barrel's much bigger. But I'm just looking for something that I can take on the run. Yeah, <laughs> something, something mobile. Something mobile, you know. My ex husband to make a joke every time he bought me a gun. Oh my god. I bought you. Yeah. Because the, the, there's no way I've never touched a gun, I've never held a gun, I have no interest in guns. I yeah. Know. Any guy who's on a dating site that has a gun, mm -hmm. I block. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't, but I'd say. I mean, that is, that's definitely a lane I don't of guy. Be in a relationship with a guy who's like, option when he gets mad at me is my death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or at least knowingly be in that. That was the discussion we were having. I'm like, there should be no situation you find yourself in where you shoot somebody unless you're fighting. Like within inches of your life, should you need feel the need to shoot somebody? Like if you have a gun in an altercation of any kind, you you win. You walk away at that yeah. point. You you've won already. Yeah. What yeah, is the point? Have them when they ask for your walk, like when they yeah. hug you. Yeah, exactly. It's not because it's not to shoot off. them. Yeah. To it let them know. Fear. Yes, it inspires fear. It lets and you know that too, you like, lost. There are people out there who own guns and are responsible with them. Yes. Not enough of them. There are not enough so of like, them. Like, if you don't own a gun, have a gun safe or keep it at the gun range where it's safe. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like, uh, maybe if you're a hunter, mm. like have a good uh, gun safe. Yeah. But overall, there's no need to keep a gun in a house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. Yes, I. I there's no need. There's there's not there's not as much of. Chicken knives, you should be fine. Well, yeah. Get the cardio in. Well, so get the shake weight like energy. Oh, get that workout in. Yeah. Well, well, so what I was, what no, what we were saying on that fucking on the thing posted today was, I mean, like there should be the people who insist on having them in their homes at all times are the same paranoid schizophrenic people who think there's going to be a fascist uprising every other week you know and then maybe that's red flag number one for you know not giving those people guns i mean am i right or what the ones who are worried about like catching something else from the covid vaccines like yeah autism. yeah no you already have it <laughs> I honestly feel sad for them because it's the most misinformed like, yeah. group in, in the United States. Yeah, but. In a manner in which, like, 
I wish that they had had better upbringings to mm. like. But that's patient. Z- that's patient zero for gun reform. I'm like, okay, well, you're just handing these out like candy to these crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, really, really in a home where like it was more manly to own a gun. Yeah. yeah. It was like, like I, I do think that there's a way in which like guns can be used recreationally in a safe manner, but we're not doing it, and it will never be on the table because of the like the amount of destruction that it can do that comes along with it. Mm. And the fact of like the people that stockpile them and have literally like hundreds first off it's like what do you need like 20 guns people be having hundreds of guns there should be at least a limit on the number yeah. of guns what do you, you know you're not gonna shoot even if you have that many enemies that tons of people are rushing your house this like you, you're at like it's call of duty you're not gonna you can't just switch yeah, like, guns like that you're not like, gonna yeah or like like people will say like i'm collecting guns or uh, I, I can maybe understand that they're collecting antique guns, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No longer Why are you work, collecting they, ammo, they, too? Like, well, that's the other thing that bothers yeah. me. Is, like, there's no sort of, like, understanding or tracking of, like, ammo yeah. mm-hmm. being purchased. And, like, this is, like, this is how you actually catch people from doing, like, mass shootings. Yeah. They figure out how much ammo they're buying. Why are you buying 5,000 fucking <laughs> the other The other thing is, like, there's always gonna be somebody who like works around the system too. Like as long as as, as like violent weapons yeah. exist, yeah. there's gonna be that's bad. the same. But that's the NRA's argument. It's like there's already a black market for these weapons. Why should we restrict? Yeah, look, I, I, why should we restrict? There is a there's is, is there's a a sh- a shimmer of truth to that. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't should, it doesn't mean should, yeah. This shouldn't take away the idea of responsibly using. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that any form of gun reform would not decrease, you know, these unnecessary fatalities. If you have, like, a child under a certain age, maybe you shouldn't be allowed to own a gun. Mm. Or or keep a gun at home, I should say. You could own a gun, but maybe keep it at a... I mean, how crazy is that that one story with the kid who kills his mom because he didn't get his christmas present or whatever you heard that and i think, oh, it, I, think I, I think that was maryland i think that happened in maryland oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's which shooting in america oh right yeah how recently I right hate, i hate when i have to ask so, so let me look by myself asking you guys yeah says. you guys uh it's like chop it up i'm gonna find like, this because this is actually a really do you, do you watch the washington post tiktok at all oh. they, uh, well first of all they have a phenomenal tiktok it's like very funny like way yeah. to relate news stories but um, every time there's a mass shooting, and the Washington Post um, defines a mass shooting of four people who are not the shooter have died. Mm. But every time there's a mass shooter, the guy, um, he stitches himself with, like, a, 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 a paper just going through the facts of the shooting. Mm-hmm. Every every time. It, it, it gets to the end of the year, mm. and there's, like, so many oh stitches of it it's very sad that's oh. insane okay, what are we about to watch so this is the story i was talking about i'm not sure where this took place well i'm sure we'll find out this is an inside edition uh oh. 10 years old yes yeah, so this was just recent let's let's see uh this video was put out um four months ago so 10 year old wisconsin boy is accused of shooting and killing his mother allegedly because she wouldn't buy him something he ordered on amazon right mm-hmm. so year old Wisconsin boy is accused of shooting and killing his mother, allegedly because she wouldn't buy him something he wanted on Amazon. No. A complaint obtained from the Milwaukee District Attorney's Office states the child is being charged with first-degree reckless homicide. According to the complaint, the boy allegedly told his family, I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for killing my mom. The boy's family told authorities he has a history of rage issues. According to the complaint, the child claimed he was angry with his mom that day because she woke him up early. He claims he obtained the gun from her bedroom, went down to the laundry room, and shot her. Mm-hmm. He then woke up his older sister, who found their mother's body and called police. Jesus. The complaint also states I mean, he went on how crazy is that? Like, so he knows... To wake up to, hey, um, I just did a murder my mom. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, I went and got her gun and shot her. Like, she's got it in her bedroom right next to the dildo. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where was that shit? Oh my god. Son, you got, you got <laughs> like, saying, like, I'm not victim of it by any means. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, like, you should be, actually, because, yeah. I feel like it should be required in America. Yes. Own, if you own it should gun, come you with the gun. You, own a gun yeah. you should be required to own a gun safe. Yeah. With, like, uh, with, like very secure acts. I'm sorry. 
And this is a 10 year old. Why did he like, know where it was? I need this next to my, my bed in case somebody breaks in. This is a 10 year old kid too, right? I mean, like he knows how to use this gun or was, or was it, was it ready to go? Like, why do you need a gun ready well, to go? Well, that's the thing too. Like, it's like either that or he'd seen the gun in use enough to understand mm. how to load the gun. Yeah. He plays Call of Duty. That's not enough. I I had a yeah, you don't, you don't just press X to do that I played I played uh Call of Duty all my life. I went to the the Marine Corps basic training and had the fucking, you know, M sixteen A four service and I didn't know what the fuck to do with that fucking thing yeah, based off of Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> not a fucking chance. Heard it here first. Um Life is different from video games. Yeah, yeah. News flash, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Uh, breaking news, breaking news. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life is different from video games. Back to Let me tell you, my Sims, my Sims character. Oh, way don't. <laughs> he started on Sims. Hold up. I got two things. So one, this is going to sound fucked up, but, um, when uh, I I was thinking when the boy you know what I'm saying when he when he did the deed I was like that's uh that's what people get for having kids that's the first thing <laughs> the first thing I thought <laughs> the first thing I thought I, I was like hey but I want you did that to yourself stone fucking cold well in his mind she already killed herself when she had the child is what he's getting at, at he, least the second. her life and <laughs> her life ended. And childbirth. Listen, maybe like you're social. <laughs> Jesus. He loves he loves, so he loves cats. With what is hates. The second point is this down to uphill from that first point. <laughs> the second one was something you just said. You said it again. I forgot. Oh shit. Yeah. No, the second one was something. It was something more chill. It was a casual conversation. It was. It was out. her fault. Was the first one. <laughs> I forget what it was. Oh, shit. It's going to come back to me. It's yeah, anyways. To me. I like the first one better. Yeah. It's more controversial. Did she have a gun safe or did she have next to the dildo? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no, it was no. the Call of Duty stuff. No, more recent. More recent. It's very recent. Damn, my memory ain't Life shit. is not... No, no, keep going. Keep it's going. the wine. It's my fault. Sim, 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 Sim. Oh, shit. I keep hitting this man. Dude, I'm just going to fall. I was shit when I was a kid. I would lose days playing that game. Oh, my God. And but the news like the sims with the people, I mm -hmm. not my thing. I don't. You know, like the I top. I want to build the city. You like the top down view of it all. I just want like society to thrive. Oh yeah. my gosh. There are a lot of ga popular games like that now, where you build like a factory or you yeah. build. Yeah. yeah. What were you gonna say about the city? Oh, so I've had a messy situation. Well, as the, I've mentioned this. You had to break up. You had to figure out who was gonna take the sims. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I I ended up messing with a with a with a um. So I would never talk to a coworker. That's mad messy. I did hook up with a roommate before. Very messy. That's very messy even stuff. what? Very messy stuff. How old were you? Was this last week? <laughs> now I live by myself. It's just me and Daisy, and I'm not you know, Daisy's I'm not the cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like I said, he loves his cat. He hates. He, he hates other human beings, like especially children. Yeah, I know, right? So you just got it. Uh, uh, another breaking news. But can I get that sound? Oh, again? but of course, I played this Re myself as well. Yes. Renzo <laughs> has gotten a camera for his home. So that he can watch his cat when he's away. This is his dog. Just pull it up. I want to sh like, let's show them Daisy. Can you guys see what Daisy's up to yeah. right now? Let's see. I, yeah. I've been watching my dog for seven years now. And never once so I can and sleep. It didn't occur to you. She sleeps the whole time. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, she has the one thing where she looks out the window when I leave, like watches me walk. Yeah, and it's and so I'm just sad. Like, I'm just like, she looks at me like, while you're pulling that up, we'll finish. We'll, well finish this. Me, but, uh, there's a, this one makes me sad. Well, there's a sting at the end of this. I think they, they, there's they, a. It's made up, and it, it'll make me happy. At the end. No, that's unfortunately not <laughs> this, the fucking hook. You, is it, it, on the day you'll see. You'll see. And ordered a virtual reality headset that he wanted. So he kills his mom and still orders the thing, right? His mother's account. A hearing on this case is reportedly scheduled for December seventh. 
For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. There's another thing where he's like, so they don't have it in this video, but when I was reading articles about this, this kid, like, it's like so crazy that you would leave a gun out anywhere near, like, a, a child like this, you know, knowing, being his mother, you know, knowing how impulsive your kid is, right? That, um, so after his, he's with his aunt or his grandma or whatever, and the grandma reports to journalists that immediately mm. after he's like, I'm still getting my package, right? I'm st I, <laughs> yeah. So you, you know, your kids like that, right? And kids will be, there are some impulsive self-centered kids, you know, and he's 10. Again, we're not victim blaming. He's a victim in this. Oh. No, he's, I think black actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, damn. No. It would you put all the right pieces together? Yeah. Yeah. Are you like bad? He's like you're like no black kids can be entitled. I know it's crazy, right? I was disappointed. God damn it! You're hurting the cause. No, I didn't bet money on that shit. You could have got my. I should. I wish. I should have bet you another glass of wine. Yeah. It's like the home. What is the home like? Exactly. That's where his head went. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't get, get me wrong. I'm sure there are plenty of children who are just born with rage issues and mm -hmm. like, learn how to, how to do better with it later in life, yeah. or maybe become serial killers. I don't know. And I'm not saying she could have. I'm not saying she could have ever predicted he would shoot no, her, but not. certainly don't have. Uh, well, you said they had a history of. of of rage issues well it's, i will certainly don't have victim blaming me and, and i'm gonna walk back from that yeah it, 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 all none of the circumstances matter what happened happened certainly stow the gun properly if you know your kid has a propensity for being angry all the time you know <laughs> or being self-centered and you know maybe not as uh cautious as yeah, other kids might just, be i've never oh, touched a gun in my life wait how's daisy yeah we gotta I'm trying to see we need the update there. can we like sink into his phone so I wish. You know what, guys? Uh, if you you should link this to a Patreon. <laughs> oh I know God, the, the Daisy can. This, this is better than like. This is better than the oh, product. Man. No, this is better than our podcast. Uh, <laughs> it's only cats. It's Daisy. Just seeing what Daisy's up to. Color camera at some point. I'll have, no, it's color, but it's it's in night vision mode because it's dark. I'll have to send you. You leave her in the dark. I mean, like the windows are open. She's a cat. She's. I mean, yeah. like yeah, they have I, night I know, vision. I, I never. I always. If I ever like, I always leave a TV on for my dog. Yeah. I well, my mom does too. My mom and does. If that. I ever. Um, but cats can see in the dark. I mean, they're fine. Yeah, if I ever like leave the lights off, I feel really guilty. Not she's too. she's oh. over there chilling. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, come here. Will she do it? Daisy, where you at? Does that door. fuck with her though? Does that make her like? She was looking around earlier. We're, we're at day one. Though. She doesn't yeah. come when I. She doesn't. How long have you had though. this? Yeah. How long has this I been? I set installed? it up. I so I set it up the other day, and I just like, I I just said I'm using it for the first time today. Wow. Do you yeah. feel closer to her? I do. I'm happy that I can see how she's closer doing. than ever. Yeah. You know Does she like get it, ever get into trouble when you're not home? Not really. She don't be. She don't be doing crazy stuff. Which I like. She's yeah. mad chill. I don't know where she is. I thought my dog is too. Like my she dog, like I, I, I can leave. Like she'll take some food off the off the coffee table if I leave it out. But other than that, like mm -hmm. that's her worst habit. Yeah. And, yeah. and honestly, like like I I like she's like this like I was like three ten, five gallon like container for a dog food. I could leave that open. She wouldn't get into it. Wow. I have I have done that. She's never gotten into the trash. She. Uh -huh. like, She's not one she, of. She has like an accident at home. It means like something's wrong with her. Yeah. yeah. So she's not one of those dogs that deliberately tears up the toilet paper and no, drags it everywhere. She has, she has a god. Uh, I have a, a god dog. His name is Hugo. Shout Hugo. Hey Hugo. Lost in life. Oh my god. Love you, babe. Um, <laughs> her god brother. Um, dog brother, I should say. Um, uh -huh. He's he's exact opposite. Like he gets into everything. If there's food, he wants it. Like he, Ooh. I was dog sitting him once, and he like jumped up on the counter. To oh get my gosh! And I was making. It's my fault for putting anyway. Yeah, my so, mom. My mom feeds the dog you met Nala. She feeds her little French bulldog. Like she made her scrambled eggs the other day. Oh. And fuck uh, every everything we eat. She listen, just listen, she's got a, her own plate. You make your own food, so she's got to spoil. She's got to spoil everybody. <laughs> Honestly, like I I I don't know. What I, I wish that was true. I wish what you said about me was the oh like God, like she doesn't still cook for me. I'm not here to 
to judge your upbringing or talk about your no. mom. I'm I encouraging a lovely human being. I can cook. I don't do it, though. No, yeah, he's not. Fine. I'm trying to tell bake. you. I can bake. I can cook. I can do it all. But uh, you said. But if someone's going to do it for you. You, impl you implied that I'm not still letting her cook for me all the time. No. Oh, every time I go home to my, my parents' yeah. house, I've come out. Well, I live here. So, yeah. Absolutely. I'm totally fucking used. I, they're out there raking the leaves constantly <laughs> and you take and bringing, them, like, bringing me my. Bringing me my dry laundry to get it out of the dryer. Oh, oh my god. I, I'm, okay, so it's your mature is folding laundry. My too. Will your mom fold it for you? No, she won't fold it. But I mean, like, I will let my she'll transfer everything just to get it out I of the way. Laundry in baskets, like, over the last two months. So. Oh my it's not god. the first time. Me too. I have no idea what's dirty or what's clean anymore. Me too, yeah. yeah. I, I hate doing laundry. I don't know what the mental block is. The thing is, I can wash it. I can dry it. But folding the laundry. Yeah. And the thing is, like, as soon as I get high and start washing something, I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting through yeah. that mental block back. Yeah. Like, it's just like, oh, that's interesting. It's gonna take me so long. It's interesting. You have to get high. Usually, I come down from like having sex, and I'm like, oh, I can do so much. Like, I can, I can do this now. But you're getting laid, is the thing. Well, like the adrenaline or like the dopamine, whatever. After the fact, it helps me. But you know, when I get when I get high, like sometimes, I, and I don't have anything to write, mm -hmm. like jokes. Yeah. Sometimes I actually do chores. Uh, it's very rare. Um, my apartment is, is all chaos, and I, I pay people to come through and clean it once a month. Oh my god, yeah, but here's your tip. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're vulnerable people. I don't know. I have a, I to see my clean my permit for a year. With with laundry, they never introduced themselves. So I'm too afraid. To oh my god! Them. So you haven't met them, or, no, or I know you, them. But, but I know them by face. If I saw are them they... in the grocery store, I recognize them. They never, like, hey, uh, they never introduced themselves they to me. Are they foreign? They, is English the first? Okay, yeah. They never introduced themselves to me when they started cleaning my apartment, and now it's been a year, and I'm too afraid to ask. Yeah, it's just oh, normal. It's just... It's just like, here's your tip. Business as usual, yeah. And they, like, they know me. Like, they're so nice. Uh-huh. You know what you should do? You should uh, act like you're just waking up and be like, hey, uh... Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't have enough well, time to learn like, your name. They come at, like, 8 a.m. Oh, yeah. Like, that's perfect. It's early time I can schedule it so it doesn't interfere with my work. Mm -hmm. that's perfect. That's a perfect call. No. Oh, like, what's your I'm name? They got a guy to fix you up with. Yeah. I don't know. No. I, I, that, it, it, they're yeah. going to be a no. My uh, my stepdad. That's what he did. You know, Stephen. He used to have a cleaning lady come through. I don't think he does anymore. And he used to have a gardener too. The whole deal. Wow. He he lives in Northwest D.C. He's got his own house and yeah, shit but yeah he would have people the same deal like once a month come through and do everything but... honestly it's worth the mental space i get back yeah I but wait that, yeah. i do want to go back to what was the craziest thing this guy did after you brought him home oh oh oh, oh. so he didn't he didn't do anything crazy we didn't even have like full-on sex or anything we just fooled around and then fell asleep, basically and um he spent the night and then the next morning we both got up and left um, I went to work, he went back home, whatever, and, um, what ends up happening is I steadily ghost him after that point, you know, like, or cycle him out. As you do. Because I, I got, we got, both got what we wanted from the date, mm -hmm. and I had no interest in really pursuing anything beyond that. Like, poncho-wearing men or not? <laughs> I'm saying the whole fucking package was not yeah. my type it, fellas if you're looking to date christian do not wear do not wear a poncho that's only the start i mean uh, you can have a poncho as long as you don't no, no, don't don't, don't, don't wear a fucking poncho as long as you're not okay, okay. I, I, I got a green poncho that's, i do too i do too, too i got it for my trip to disney World. this was like party yeah. city poncho this was not a fucking this was like they were like worried about there was, the knowledge of like racial stereotypes there was no utility in the poncho <laughs> It was just a fashion choice. It was just a oh fashion choice. <laughs> well, I said that's, that's a cheap. That's a cheap shot. That's just a joke. But I mean, I it was the mental hang-ups I had, and and then uh, and then it's hard, it's hard and then to see somebody after a long time too. But also like it it it, it raises the expectation too when he wrote you like such a long letter and you were and then looking like, back at that mental space. Yeah. It's like I was just like, let me just like get this out of my system. You're like, what yeah. happened? Kind of what, he probably didn't even type it. He has someone else to type it. No, I mean, yeah. he wrote that whole fucking. It came from his heart, but then re again, hindsight being 2020, looking back at that immediately, I was like, oh, this was a mistake. Uh, you well, know. I mean, but it's easy to. I mean, I've made mistakes. Uh, it's easy to. Oh, to, we all have. I, I, there were at least five or six mistakes who came home with me. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean. Back when I had the energy to date. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'm just with people that's like, 
maybe once a year I'll go on a date and uh, figure the rest of it out. I wasn't even super interested in dating at the time. This was, like I said, coming out of a, a very devoted relationship. I had a, exactly a mission. And I mean, this, yeah. but this happened to be somebody I knew prior and he had all these feelings. I knew it was, I knew it was safe. Yes. No, I mean, that's the kind of thing too. Like when you get out of a relationship too, it's like, you want to do like what feels safe, what feels easy. Yes. What... We were talking about the path of least resistance, you yeah, know. It's just like what won't blow the fuck up. Yeah. What what feels ex... what is what will be meet your expectations? Words. Yeah. You know, like you don't want to have to deal with like the like, drama. Like, oh, this person is into me. Or, yeah. Like, home with me, like if you know they're like DTF, like yeah. then there we go. F. Exactly. That's it. That's what it was. And it worked for that. And then after I didn't want to pursue anything greater, he seemed like he had much greater feelings, judging by that essay he sent me. So, <laughs> exactly. Who, who in all their infinite wisdom could have, but no, certainly not I. Well, he would. So, after that, again, this is in between me breaking up with someone I was with for a very long time, or being broken up with, I should say. And then. This, a couple other flings, what have you. And I meet somebody who he's met, who all my friends know very well. We're still good friends. I was just on the phone with him this evening, this yeah. guy. Um, he's a big help in getting me started with all this comedy business, yeah. stand-up. Great, great person. We were together for just a few months and until he moved away. Yeah. Uh, and that was one of my first jokes about him moving and I'll just show you later. It was yeah, lots of fun. And, um, he moved, he didn't want to do long distance. So we ended up splitting up. But, um, before we split up, as I'm starting to do these mics and, and this is leading up to a splitting up and mutually agreeing that we will. So we're kind of already on the outs, but sure enough, here's this guy He shows up at the second mic I've ever been to, mm -hmm. and it was no coincidence. He ended he ended up in Woodbridge from fucking Sterling no, or whatever. It was because he saw me post about it the first time on social media, and I didn't have him blocked so because I didn't I didn't think I needed to block this person. I didn't think they were gonna stalk me. Do and they, they do they do up? So they showed up to view. And I could tell he was kind of moving to talk to me and it could keep coming up and like averting his gaze and, and chickening out, yeah. you know, constantly. Yeah, and you like lean just into that. Link like, Let me just like not talk about Just this. lingering, exactly. And I was with a group of friends and my boyfriend at the time, he yeah. was there. And I was like, oh shit, here's a person I never thought I would see here of all here's places. The here's the thing to deal with. Yeah, here's the thing to do. I told Dwayne White, I was like, hey, just a heads up. I don't know if he's going to try to do something during my set or what, but i just letting you know this guy's in here. And he was such a fucking champ. I fucking love Dwayne for this. He was, oh, yeah. he was like, oh yeah, I'll make, I'll go talk to him. I'll make sure, uh, I'll stand by, behind him around and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Yeah, and sure Dwayne's enough, great. Like, and sure enough, he did and everything went smoothly. But then after after I'm with my friends hanging out toward the end, um, and he tries to come up to me, and um, and I'm just in my little huddle talking, like you said, yeah, like not like eye contact, life. and that was enough for him to, to just back off and leave it. And I thought that would be that, right? No, he would come back and start performing there and start and and take take it up and is so now is he any good or? well so now i mean that's i'm not going to disparage anyone yeah okay. yeah certainly not on, on the podcast the first time. exactly new comics new comic new i mean and i'm brand new too we start we're starting effectively yeah, okay. at the same time now but right he, but, but now he's at all the stuff now he's at all the stuff so okay. it's like there's this now that i'm yes. grappling with well so here's what i do the the, the next time i see him out uh, and it was in woodbridge i just i pulled him aside at the end again he's lingering he's not talking to me anymore now he's just socializing with everyone and in the middle he's talking to dan kaufman and mike what's the guy the other marine guy who was there last night you yeah, remember yeah. him with I, the beard both of them they're in a circle talking i talking i pull him i pull it i yeah after after well i pull him aside from that girl hey can i talk to you for a second and he, oh shit, I think. I think that's a sign. That's like fucking Satan telling us to shut the shit Maybe it's the end of the story. <laughs> I know. It's like, really? <laughs> I think it's because I realized. 
think I might no, but but that's the thing though, is is like that's what that's why comics shouldn't date. Well well so again be, well, uh, little did you know that you you were you I didn't know he'd pick this shit up. Know, now, now you've started him down the path to start him. Yeah, I mean hey I, like, well, so I, he accepts his like Oscar, he'll be like, and thank you to the dude. Fucking please. Well, night stand in me. Fucking, I, I'm almost done. I fucking promise. Because oh, well, so I pull him aside and I go, and he's like, yeah, what? You know, like pretend, like, play, pre- playing, playing, playing pretend. I was like, hey, I'm not going to pretend I know why you're here or not. But the fact that you're here, I just want to say, you know, I reached out. I said, good on you, man. I'm glad you're trying this out. And it's yeah. not easy. I just, I just started this. I'm sure you're aware. Yeah. <laughs> and, how, how could he have known? And he, media. and he's like, yeah, I just fucking, I just got up there and I just, I just said, fuck it. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care if they laugh or not. I just said I was going to fucking do it. And so I, I did it. And I was just like, that aside, I just want to say whatever there is between us, I want to squash it right now. There's yeah, nothing. Like, there's let's just be on good terms. Let's just be on good terms. We're gonna. This is a really tight circle. This area. We're gonna see each other at things. I'm sure if you continue. So I. I want there to be nothing between us. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no. No bad Ill will. Was, you know. And, and he was receptive. And he was like, Yeah, sh- sure. That is, yeah, it's no and problem. Quick comedy for it. No. No. That didn't happen. <laughs> of course, that didn't happen. But and so I would go later to see him at things, and he came to one in Woodbridge, where he actually incorporated me into a. Like oh. just an offhand remark, oh. I almost lost my shit. I, like you, you, like by name. Yeah. Yeah. No. He was like, no, I was like, like yo. First rule of comedy is change everybody's name. He was like Christian over there. It wasn't. He wasn't using a joke, but he he used me as like almost crowd work material like okay, like that's fine and it is it's it's, it's, fine. it's fine well you could have picked anybody else in this fucking room to, yeah, to mean, talk about it's like, it's like I mean, so what the fuck are you doing my guy like some like comics who i've like, like kind of flirted with every now and then and yeah then, like when i see them around like there's like the, like the flirting in terms of like oh let's get something gonna ha- something gonna happen between us okay nothing's gonna happen between us yeah and it's one of the things though where it's like we were both kind of like both intrigued by each other mm-hmm. and so it's like one of the things where it's like you can't help yourself sometimes from like well that's a little different when somebody out but when you know there's a like contention almost or or, or when it is a tense he, situation yeah, see, yeah why I mean, prod that at all yeah, let's maybe, maybe we can talk about it later. let's let's pretend that we don't exist yeah or if you have something to say go yeah ahead. i mean i i don't know when i broke up with my ex-husband so we were so my my backstory is I was I with my ex husband for almost oh, eight years, no. mm-hmm. um, but we were only married for six months. Yeah, uh, he proposed to me the month after my grandfather died, um, which my grandfather was the love of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, so it it it's it's I was not in a good place to make big life decisions. Yeah, but also we've been together for a long time. We've been living together almost the whole time, so we'd already had a marriage to that extent. And mm-hmm. Kind of fizzling out. But we thought maybe more commitment would make it better. Sure. You know, as you do. It's a lot of people's it's first an instinct. Expensive commitment in front of a bunch of people that you involve the government with. Mm-hmm. Why? Why wouldn't? It's all <laughs> my problem. <laughs> what? So, but um, like maybe like six months, like three or four months after we got married, I I realized how unhappy I was in the relationship itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and part of that was my fault for not speaking up, but but it got to the time where like he realized I was unhappy, and you know I had been pulling back from him a, a bunch, which was not right of me to do. Um, I should have just talked to him about it, but but it happened. That's a natural yeah, occurrence. I mean, yeah, so hindsight's twenty twenty. But um, you know the the night that we broke up, uh, it we actually spent the whole day with my parents because they'd come into town for Mother's Day. Mm. Oh wow. Um. And he came into the room and he was like, listen, this doesn't feel like it's working out anymore. And I, I finally got started with therapy. So I was like, I talk about it. I was like, well, like, if this relationship's going to work, like, here's, I started talking about, like, here's what I mean. He's like, nah, I don't think, I think we're past that. Which then he said to me, like, he didn't feel like doing the work. Mm. I was like, all right, cool. I'll cut my losses. But, like, it, it's, it's weird when you're in that place, too, of, like, what next mm-hmm. to like really like, thinking about the person you don't want to like hyper fixate on the person but the person's like still around your life yeah. he lived in the apartment for like another two months after uh we broke up 
Stuff on the futon in the loft. My my fucking mom and dad, you know, my dad is a gay guy, right? And obviously they he had me. He was married to my mom at one point. He went through a conversion therapy, you know, trying a whole he tried, tried everything he could to make it work, but obviously when you want to be dicked down you're or whatever. Be, you're gonna be attracted to what you're, you're gonna find a way. Off, yeah. You never get a, like we're born with what we're attracted to. Sometimes we discover it. Exactly. Like, yeah. But like you you can't turn off a track. You can't really run from it like I've you think the men who have known have been bad for me and still been like, Yeah, but he's really yeah. hot. It'll take some sort of outside element to influence you otherwise yeah, usually or point you in the right direction. But Yeah, like I I've, I've primarily dated men my entire life. Um, the couple of women I've dated have been like, I got my U-Haul outside and I'm ready to move in with you. And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, thank yeah. you. Uh, have a good day. But I was going to say to my dad, my mom and dad, I mean, up until a year ago, almost, is when we moved here. We moved from a house just like three minutes from here that my dad had been paying the mortgage on the utilities on wow. not living in for 15 years. Wow. So you imagine that level of involvement with your, your ex spouse for that yeah, long. And your, and your, yeah. I and you have, you said you have a brother too. It's not his. Um, it's a, by a different father, of, yeah. of course. But I mean, like, essentially, my but dad. Your brother was living there too. My my dad is supporting it, and he loves my brother. Oh, but we're all yeah. Nobody, we're all this really fucked up family, right? It's who it's crazy, you know. But who is it in the family that's like? Oh no, we're all everybody is fucked. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a normal family. No, I mean, like this is cert certainly an orthodox mind, but I mean, yes. Just to say, yeah, there's going to be, like, oh, these messy ties and endings yeah, like in this way where, you've, where you, you, you don't think you can stand to be around someone or, or that maybe it's best that you go your separate ways. But by some means, it's just it's not always feasible and you end up yeah. you end up tied to somebody at the hip. But in some, and sometimes, I mean, in my, in my parents' case, it made them like fucking despise each other. Mm -hmm. My mom resented my dad for, for knowing that he was effectively supporting her, and my dad resented my mom for having to support her all this time and and not understanding why she can't find someone else to do that for her. That's, that's, I'm sure it was totally mm -hmm. stress free childhood for you. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I have like you, you, I mean, you see. Yeah, it just it, like you things could have gone a lot worse with the way you came out be though. It seems like like you were amazing. I'm only doing stand up I'm only doing stand up comedy now, right? I mean it's doing stand up because we're happy. Good childhood Look. enough hugs. You know, we're doing childhood doing stand up because we don't have like some form of depression. None of us are doing stand up because like we like are happy or find mm. affirmations in our life. We're doing stand-up because we need somebody to listen to our sorrows yeah. and then laugh with us. Laugh with us. Our, our we've, been, we've been laughing this whole damn time. I think the more traumatized people are, the funnier they are. Yes, that of might, course. That might not... That might, I think that's just a link that I think. It's it's only one... It's Yeah, it, it, there is a correlation there, but it's only one fact. I mean, like look at Adam Sandler, for instance. That's a guy who I mean, had... Look at Robin Williams. Yeah, who had virtually yeah. no trauma, you know, or, or had a good upbringing. And then there are other people who are... Really damaged. Okay, I had a perfectly normal mm. like storybook. My parents were still married. I yeah. grew up in a stable home, and like I, I, I still have like severe depression. I have severe yeah. anxiety. Some of the shit that we have to deal with, we're born with. Mm -hmm. and, like no matter how good our our environment is growing up, it, it you're gonna have to take some medicine for it. You have to go to therapy for it, and you're gonna have to fucking deal with like finding your coping me mechanism for yeah. it. It doesn't make you. It make it easier, but it makes it manageable. You have to figure it all starts somewhere. I mean, for oh, each yeah. for each family where there's a problem spot or an issue or a mental problem, yeah, yeah it 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 starts some, and it's not the same. It's not like everyone has this villain origin story, you know, where, where some of us do. Where or like in my dad's case, like the housing market crisis they buy a house a year before the housing market crash and then they're yeah. locked they're locked into this uh, into the subprime mortgage oh, no. situation you know like that'll create a that was like what 2007 yeah yeah that's exactly that, what happened that's here the year i got to college mm, uh, yeah. and i remember my parents 
my parents like in succession were laid off like my dad was laid off no my mom was laid off because she worked at circuit city mm -hmm. um so they closed and then my mom found another job uh as a paralegal and she's always been a paralegal um mm -hmm. at, at another law firm and then like uh, a while after that my dad uh was, he wasn't technically laid off, but he's kind of pushed into retirement by the newspaper he's working at because, you know, newspapers are just killing it. Oh, yeah. because especially <laughs> with the amount of, like, people who are interested to in facts yeah. that have been, like, researched and confirmed mm -hmm. these days. Like, it's just such a good environment for knowledge in yeah. America. And this is a... a but he found something else, too. This is off topic, but I'm just trying to network here. I don't know if you met Jamie Mack yet, the trans performer um, um they go by like they them um but I yeah I, they're a uh uh or they were a, a journalist for i think for the washington times actually washington so Post? no times oh, times okay. um i mean what your your dad has always been a journalist yeah. for the for the post you said or for the virginia pilot um, okay that runs down in the Roanoke area area okay and then i know the roanoke times i don't know uh, the pilot. No, it, it, uh, it was the virginia pilot mm -hmm. and then um after that he moved over to the um oh my god richmond time Dis times dispatch mm. um and he was there for about 10 years uh have y'all heard of politifact yeah so he was running politifact for oh wow virginia it's a franchise situation though okay so, like the times the TD as we called it at home, uh, the TD bought uh, a franchise in in uh, Politifax, so he was doing that, and uh, he's very good at it. But he missed doing the profiles. Um, and then um, once they decided not to move forward with uh, Politifax, he actually moved to the local NPR affiliate, which is kind of cool because it, it fulfills uh, his kind of. My grandfather was in the radio for 60 years. I was hearing, I was listening to Walter Gottlieb. He, yeah, at yeah. your mic, the, he was telling me, yeah. Oh my God, my face went like white. Really? My grandfather really? He said something very nice about my grandfather. He did, yeah. I am very, very sensitive. No, oh, I'm sorry. But no, it's it's fine. Um, But yeah, so then he, my grand, uh, then my dad went into the local affiliate. So journalism all the way through my mm. whole life. Um, and, and the smartest guy I know and really nice, thoughtful guy. Um, loves to, I love to email with him every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We've been going now for two and a half hours. My goodness. Oh, wow. It's 1130. It's 1130. So I, I said this last time we had guests, uh, Jamie was one of them, uh, but I'm not in the business of keeping hostages here. So. <laughs> If you if you need to go, we we can stop no, this I mean, down I, by all means. Yeah, but I mean we've had a good time so far. Yeah, I mean he and I will go just ourselves, like I feel like forever. Yeah. We just be flowing. Oh, definitely. Yeah, so I think I think we can stop down. I think this is a good yeah, stopping yeah, point. Work, yeah, but, but thank you so much. For of course, so please yeah, let, let them know about your showcase yeah, again. Uh, everything. Uh, Cheers Comedy. You can follow us online at Cheers Comedy DC, um, and we uh, do a bi-monthly mic at Fat Pete's Barbecue. It's on Mondays. Uh, the next one will be on Monday, April twenty fourth. Uh, it is a pre-sign and a show up go up system, so it's a 50-50. Uh, follow us online for more info on that. We're also going to have the Breakdown Comedy Show um, on the 29th. That will be a free show at Fat Pete's Barbecue. We're going to have some of DC's finest comics uh, going up 15-minute sets, except for our headliner Yannick, who will be doing half an hour. Uh, free show, and you can get a drink ticket uh, for only $12 in advance or $15 at the door. That money will go to paying the comics, supporting them for supporting us with laughter. And, uh, yeah. And you can follow me online at mfisk, F-I-S-K-P. I love it. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. I mean, me. it's super fun. Awesome. Real quick, we do one thing at the end uh, where Lorenzo gives the audience some advice. So please, if you would, anything from tonight. Here's my advice. Yeah. I hope you motherfuckers are listening. Number one, we didn't say this before. Don't take these crazy motherfuckers home. Go to day place. If you got a place, get you a cheap ass Super 8. Okay? <laughs> 
And what else I what else I got from him, goddamn? <laughs> if you crazy, I don't know, tell people you crazy. I don't fucking know. Don't show up the dates and ponchos. I don't think that's good advice for the crazy people. I think that <laughs> No, tell people you crazy. Damn. <laughs> I think they <laughs> they won't get very far. People always have an excuse though. Fuck <laughs> your excuses. <laughs> I said to my ex. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> anything else? We have a minute left on this yeah. song. I mean, you have plenty of time to. We got pl look, we got plenty of shit. Uh, love your pets, get cameras. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, pet world, bitches. Uh, um, sign up for our mega church. Email us on <laughs> social media. Figure out how. Uh, check out, check out, check out the comedy shows. You heard, you heard what's up. You know what I'm saying? Play it back. Figure out what you got to do. Make sure you react. Show up, show up, show some love. You know what I'm saying? Throw some money at it. You know, make it rain. Ah ah ah! You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Spilling time. But, you know, we out here, we out here in this bitch. LSC, LSC boys, and fish. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, she gonna come back. Usually, it's not this hard. Usually, he has one thing he's really passionate about that, like, he's able to drive home well, for, for two consecutive minutes. Uh, that's what it is. I don't know. But it all comes back to come home thing before. <laughs> like this, like bad stuff, and I forgot. So I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I'll see y'all bitches. Use teeth whitener, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh.